anyway. All right, good afternoon, everybody. It is Frosty Fosting's number 16, but a top eight is here. Top eight DNF duel. I'm Zero alongside Musty. How are you doing? I'm doing wonderful today. Yeah. I am ready for some DNF duel action. Ladies and gentlemen, you guys already know. Yeah. Uh, I know most of these players uh, entering the World Back Home Block Weekly every Wednesday. Shout out to Shadow Royalty, my goats. Yeah. Uh, they, uh, are pretty much all these players are excellent in their own right. But there's a couple people that I wasn't expecting to see here. Haven't really been playing as often recently. Baconhausen being one of them on the loser's side. Yeah. I've been rocking that Inquisitor. Very strong character this version. Oh, insane damage dealer. Yeah, yeah. It's been a real trip to see the you know the growth of DNF Duel. You know, we just recently had that new character in Battle Mage showing up. Mm -hmm. and of course, still more to come here, and uh, I'm, I'm so happy to still see the competitors out here. A little different top eight than yeah. what we traditionally see out here. You mm -hmm. know, in terms of entrance, right? But yep. uh, also some cream of the crop out here because mm -hmm. of this player base. Whenever you get into a top 48 territory, it is 100% guaranteed yeah. killers because that is how dedicated this team, this crew has been. Yeah, no, that that's the thing about DM Duel players, man. They never quit. No. They love this game, and there's a lot to love in this version, especially. Yes. I think this version of the game is really good. There's, really a, there's, good. there's so many good things in this version, like so yeah. many so many nice changes that they made throughout the life of the game. DLC right. characters coming out. Shout out Battle Mage. We might actually be seeing her tonight. I think there's a couple people who actually okay. have a Battle Mage in the pocket. That'll be interesting. Uh, uh, I, what it looks like our first matchups here, it's going to be uh, Davids versus Cal. Right. Cal, obviously, uh, if you all are familiar with DNF, he needs no introduction. He is one of the most notable Rangers to ever touch this game, even since the very beginning when he wasn't that strong. But now Ranger uh, hovering in that top three area. And then we also have Davids over here on the Brawler. This character has really started to shine just through meta development just alone. Yeah, like at the outset, right, the release of Brawler was just like, all right, you know, we, we saw the, the release, but we didn't see a lot of players pick up this character. Mm -hmm. And uh, even at CEO Taku, there wasn't really a whole lot of Brawler play. Yes. But now to see the, the rise of Brawler, I guess, you know, the dust has settled. A new character came through, so mm -hmm. her eyes are elsewhere. But, yeah, Brawler is such an interesting character to see. Uh, I'm very curious to see how Ranger handles this one. Yep. I think uh, this matchup would be interesting. Of course, Ranger has always been that super strong threat. And yes. Cow definitely, you know, has been putting on some work with this Ranger for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and yeah, Ranger, a very, very dangerous character, this version. Very high reward, pretty good zoning, oh, yeah. as well as good buttons, too. This character has a lot of what you want in a character in this version of the game, and a decent DP to top it all off. Yeah, that's absolutely right. <laughs> Got a 2L start, of course. Just trying to feel out the, the pace of the match to start mm -hmm. things off. Of course, this zoning game is definitely going to be the go-to for Cow. Yeah, we're going to be shooting a couple of guns here. And now we got the barrels rolling down, like just like Donkey Kong. We're going to be getting yes. this pressure going. Ooh, and the DP comes out. Yeah, that helps so much there from Brawler. Trying to pull our advance here, but the gun hog goes through. And Domino Spirit kind of comes back a little bit. Oh, and yeah, there's a stagger pressure here from Cal. Complete respect here from Davids. Yeah, we're gonna get. Yep, and and that that, that move right there is pretty tricky because if Cal mashed, that was that, that was that was gonna be a punish just because that move is completely guard pointed. Oh, just gonna get the gun hawk too. Yeah, this is a good hit right now. Over here, killing, but we do have grenades up and go throw. Nice. Oh, but not not gonna get the pickup. Not yeah. gonna finish that one off. Unfortunate. Yeah, the timing was a little bit weird on that one, but we still got the gun hawk to back close up. Yeah, then that Gunhawk going to connect once again. Davids is getting a little bit too antsy on defense here in, in, the, in, in this pressure situation. Oh, and maybe a bit of a misinput there, too, trying to get a quarter circle forward, potentially, and getting that DP by accident. Yeah. All right, another Gunhawk set up here. <laughs> Open up with the knee. Nice little Gunhawk to follow through. Yeah. Uh, and, and like, then that's kind of the unique part about Cal. A lot of Rangers don't really leave gaps. They kind of just like uh, lead, lead, uh, like push, push them back to safety. Ooh. Oh! Yep, and armoring through. And there's the guard point. Very <laughs> smart stuff there from Dave. You have that immediate cancel right there. Doesn't want to get blown up by Barrel. Mm -hmm. But it gave that moment of pause there against David, so we didn't see the rush uh, the next forward against Yep. Him. And wow, just immediately from Cal. A very nice DP. Yes. Yeah, David's really not, not really able to find this opening that much. Cal has been doing a really good job of, of, of maintaining that distance and doing the stagger pressure in a way that David's is just not really quite prepared for. Oh, I like the poke. Yep. Some pretty good defense from Cal so far. We're going to check the DP way too high in the air for that. Nice little poison application there, which we saw in the previous setup. So, second that pressure, nice guard cancel out with no meter. 
in the court of Davids. Yeah, right now Davids is trying to find that opening here. Really struggling though, and Cal looking to maybe get this last hit here. Oh, this could lead to a guard break, and there's the last gun hawk necessary, and there's the round. Man, flashbacks to the previous version with that. There. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you do have to condition for him a little bit more, but yeah. Mm -hmm. We're just going to try to spin in with the uh, guard point here, just keeping the pressure up. Okay, there we go. The poison going to come through, and that is going to lead to the Kettle Davids finally getting around on the board. All right, here we go. Final round here in this game. Yeah, still in this game one here to start things off. Nice delay pressure with the low two hit. Oh, going to get a good egg rounding here too. Going to get a hard knockdown once it's set up. Oh, and you pick up off the throw. Mm -hmm. I was a little worried about the low shot. Like, wait a minute, that, that 2B is looking a little high right there, but we still got the slide to pick up the combo. Grenade, and yes, throwing poison, hitting the air time there, so we can call out. Nice roll. Nice. Right. Big opportunity for Davids here. Ah, uh, yeah, that puts you right in the awakening opportunity here for Davids. Okay. Getting the combo to the neck, getting a little soft knockdown here, get the poison applied. Or just try to. Oh, that's going to be it, yeah. Nice. Good call out there from Cal. Good stuff. Yeah, Cal's going to move on to winners. Honestly, very good stuff. Yeah, very impressive. David's playing pretty solidly, but but Cal, Cal's defense, I think, was like the main point of contention there. Like, David just could not find that open up, could not really get a throw bait, couldn't really get anything started. There was really no start here from David mm -hmm. whatsoever. Yeah. It's kind of above the norm when you're going up against Ranger anyways. It, at least in the previous match, you do have some new defense mechanics that can kind of help you get through some of that pressure with yeah. Ranger. But this time around, you know, Cal still staying Pat and Cal and uh, bringing it home, essentially, because you already have lockdown with Gunhawk. You still see that the guard break opportunity is still there. Uh, and like I said, both opting for the 50% awakening opportunities so that gives you your debuffs uh, when you hit the opponent if yep. you're uh, in Ranger. But on the other side, it was interesting, like I said, to see that dynamic of debuff from Ranger, but then increased buffs from Brawler for hitting mm -hmm. so Yes, yes, really absolutely. Cool. Yeah, yeah, just, just try to level it out here. And we have our next set coming up too. We got Goldeneye, another godlike ranger. Uh, this one, uh, Goldeneye enters a lot more stuff, at least more recently. Been uh, winning a lot of the netplay tournaments for this game, and has just been playing out of his mind pretty consistently since Combo Breaker, where he uh, where he actually landed at second place. Very good stuff. Yep. These two. These. So, yeah, uh, Goldeneye um, doing, uh, playing very well, obviously. But all, other than that, though, we have Axe Chen. Axe Chen uh, has been performing very well in the online as well recently and actually took a set off of Goldeneye uh, uh, last Wednesday uh, in the Rollback on Block Weekly. Uh, played very, ex played very, uh, played excellently. Inquisitor, such a strong character. This version can act definitely give Ranger a run uh, for their money. Just the, the reward on hit is just so high for that character. For the, uh Absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Um, which is great to see the rise of Quister. I think we kind of saw the rise like right before, uh, like leading into this initial patch with the cube changes. Um, I think Quister definitely really helped out, especially with Holy Water. On top of that, like uh, the explosivity of her uh, pressure. We saw, uh, gosh, the name is escaping, but uh, uh, another Quister player that really kind of stuck it out even before like the bus for Quister. Uh, Anton. Yes. You're thinking of Anton. Yes, yes. yes. I, yes. yes. Uh, Anton out here killing it with the uh, Inquisitor. So that was definitely like an eye opener for me to see mm -hmm. the capability. Because before uh, Anton, there really wasn't a whole lot in the, in the field of Inquisitor. They were out there. Yeah. But in terms of high level playing, getting to these top eights, you didn't get to see a whole lot. 
Yeah, unfortunately, like like before before she got her big set of buffs, there definitely were not that many representatives. But they were definitely showing what the character could do, even yeah. even in that state. Yeah. Because uh, back then she was not doing damage. <laughs> her health was low. Err. Uh, but yeah, we'll, we'll definitely be seeing some pretty good stuff uh, coming here from Max Gen. But yeah, Golden Eye versus Ax Gen coming up very soon for y'all. All right. Cool. So we'll be getting the set started any second. Yeah, we're working on it here. Uh, mm -hmm. In chat, just so you know, we are aware of the sound issues. We're trying to work through those, so bear with us as we get that Mm-hmm. Take care of for the optimal experience out here. Yep. So, got it all locked in, primed, and ready for this top eight. Everyone tuning in for Frosty Crossing is greatly appreciated, of course. Mm-hmm. Lots going on this weekend. It is a Art World Tour qualifying spot for yes. the Guilty Gear Strive. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and Grand Fantasy, Fantasy versus Rising. The last one, too, I believe, correct? Yeah, the last yeah. one. Mm -hmm. the, it is set and done. A really quick one for Grand Blue. Grand yeah. Blue literally just yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, just three events back to back to back. Yeah, Kionic Cup, Psy Games Cup, which happened both the same weekend. Mm -hmm. so that was, uh, yeah, that was crazy. crazy. But it's always a pleasure to see Frosty Crossings on a document for an Art World Tour yeah. uh, stop because I still remember back in the day during uh, Exert when... The billboard in the lobby of Exert <laughs> had Frosty Boss. Dang, I didn't yeah. realize Elf Shadow was like that. Yeah. <laughs> so. Yeah, no, for sure. This, this event really deserves it, though. It's yeah. it's an amazing it's event, a, for sure. Absolutely. All right, so still kind of holding out here. Bear mm -hmm. with us, Chad. Yeah, bear with us, y'all. Get this figured out as soon as we can. Been unplugged and removed. That's it. They're taking me out. Ooh, oh, 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 yeah, you already know that's the final step. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. But yeah, you know, the, the crew playing DNF Duel, definitely check it out. It goes on sale quite a bit. Yes. Um, and you know what? It is an aiding title, so y'all know what you're getting into when you uh, oh, yeah, start playing this game. You're getting into an insane, an insane fighting game yes. for sure, without a doubt. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's been, been a ton of fun. Like, the fear that I have playing this game is is there's nothing like it out, yeah. out there. Like, uh, and, and it's a good feeling of fear, right? Because it, you do die for a single touch, and you will explode. But that's a part of the beauty of the game, which is like, all right, you know, like if you play Marvel before, you understand the rules. You've signed up for the trouble of dropping your combo or messing <laughs> up in neutral. Yep. There's no escaping it, There's and no escape. everyone's on the same playing field. But, uh, you know, Rangers sometimes likes to play outside of that playing field and oh, not yeah. giving you any turn here, which is... Uh, Changed now because of things like the guard cancel being in roll the indomitable spirit. Yes. Very much so. Very important. Very important this version. Oh, okay. Oh. Actually, not gonna be able to get the pick up there. We're gonna be able to get, continue this pressure. We got the flame on. Mm -hmm. Nice poke out from Golden Eye. Gonna get that corner back with the gun flip. Boop. And a hard knockdown too. Now Golden Eye is a bit of a di a bit of a different ranger uh, than than Cal. Mostly just going for those true block strings, going for those setups, trying right. to set up for that guard break, trying to set up uh, for those strike throws. A very, very different kind of player, but just as good. Oh my god, the back rolls. Oh, we are just getting out of there. We're not dealing with any of this right now. Pew, pew. Gun flip. <sighs> yeah, continuing the pressure as well. Trying to bait a match here from goal nine. Not quite going to be able to find it. Ooh. Oh, wow. Jump back. Okay. Yeah, I think it was jump back B, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The jump back B. Barely going to be able to get away with that. That, because... That, that jumping magic skill, it is, it's quite the option. <laughs> there's really no, there's very few places on screen you can go to yeah. be safe from it. But uh, the timing of that jump be very well. Oh, night. Oh. Mm -hmm. Utilizing mm -hmm. your skills to get over, you know, dangerous situations like that, but still a precarious position, especially since Rangers, well grounded, able to pick up anti air. Nice couple of scud genocides for additional damage. Oh. Beautiful timing on DP, though. The attempt, because that is the quick draw, but great patience from Goldeneye. Here we go. We're going to get the full route here. Going to get another hard knockdown. Not even going to put Axion into Awakening. Yep, only going to do one rep. Going to go mm -hmm. for the throw. And I think we might be able to kill here. It's going to be close. If we just keep repping this. Oh, oh no. We I'm surprised we didn't go for another Scud Genocide. No, you already had three grounds, so you're good. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Axion not looking very good right now. Uh, kind yeah. of struggling to find this opening. No HP left to play with. Oh, he catches the jump with the 5A. Bah. Good stuff. All right, going into game two. Mm -hmm. Golden Eye with the lead, and yeah, this is kind of what we thought at the beginning of it, right? Because Ranger uh, is able to outzone kind of against uh, 
Inquisitor. She has to work so hard to try to get in. We saw some of that maneuverability. Yes, the new mechanics really helped tremendously, but this guard break? Yeah. Good God. It, it, it didn't want it. Action, uh, just letting the guard break happen, not actually going to get rid of all that white life, because then you're just in a one hit situation. Good instead. roll, good roll, but didn't recognize that you were outside of the hitbox of the Gunhawk. Oh, yeah, Axchan getting a little bit desperate for the hit. This should lead to a kill here for GoldenEye. Yeah, the grenade to back it up. Nice pickup just to Man, stand S to finish it. Seven golden letters plus two on screen. Goodness gracious. Yeah, this is not looking good for Axchan at all. This is a complete flip of what we saw last week. Yeah. Ooh, Ooh. nice two-way. That's your starter here. Got the knockdown. Up, up, up. Yeah, not close enough to get the hard knockdown there, but going to just maintain the pressure that way. Great roll yeah. from Axchan. Finally getting a turn. Ooh. Oh, Ooh. Drop it. Yeah, way too high for that one there. At least got this pick up here. We're Ooh. definitely not dropping. You bring it down, please. Ooh, we got the optimals on deck, too. Oh, oh. see, I was so worried about it because I knew that combo scaling was going to start activating here. Yep. All right, yeah, we're going to begin the guard cancel from Golden Knight. Get out of situation. Tries to sneak in with the DP. Not yeah. quite going to be fast enough. Now debuff, too. Going to be taking a bunch of damage. And not going to be put quite into Awakening because of the white life. Yep, yep. And that was a quick stop from Golden Knight to not continue the combat, to not put Max Chan in Awakening. Now they are. Yeah, because as y'all as, as will notice, Ooh. oh, yeah, very, very Stride. solid 2-0 -oh from Golden Knight. Yep. Chan not able to find the hits, and when the hits were found, the conversions just were not finished. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Gotcha. Just bang. <laughs> Oh my God! We got freaking uh, we got Spike Spiegel up here. Dude. <laughs> See you <laughs> later, <great>. Space Cowboy. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, uh, congratulations, to Golden. I'm gonna be moving on to Winners yeah. Finals. Very clean victory too. That is, I did not expect it to be the, that one-sided. I'm gonna be honest. Yeah, it, it's you know a little bit of shadows or um, just kind of remembering how it was back with uh, initial Inquisitor matchups mm -hmm. too. That she just doesn't have a whole lot to close the gap against the opponent. Mm -hmm. She does have the navigation, which we did see at the initial start of the round, yes. but you put yourself in such a precarious position time and time again against Ranger, who's like, great, I have Scott Genocide, mm -hmm. I have the full distance advantage, mm -hmm. I have a grenade underneath you, or even Gunhawk, where you land right on top of it. Yes. There's so many tools that uh, Ranger can just essentially trip guard you or put you right in a block zone almost immediately by the time that you land. Uh, but all right. Yeah, no, very, very good stuff. Uh, we will be seeing GoldenEye in Winner's Finals. Yes. Uh, it's going to be a Ranger Mirror in Winner's Finals, too. That'll be fun. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, it wouldn't be a DNF bracket, you know, if it wasn't <laughs> at some point yeah. a Ranger Mirror. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, like, like uh, uh, if they don't start by taking 10, uh, uh, 10 paces back and then firing off 5B, is it really even a Ranger they're, Mirror? They're cheating at that point. Yeah, exactly. They have That's to be disqualified. Just pow. <laughs> <laughs> um, up next should be GC Yoshi versus... Bakken, Bakken Hausen, excuse uh, me. Bakenhausen, yeah. Bakenhausen, okay. Yeah. Now, now Bakenhausen, oh, actually, no, we're actually going to be getting Lufo oh, and Pineapples oh, oh, my first. Bad, my bad, my bad, my bad, ah, Chad, my bad. My bad. Hey, man, it happens. You know what you know I'm going be? from top to bottom, but I, I told you. Yep. Now, now Pineapple's yes. actually a fellow commentator. Yes. Been rocking a lot of these DNF yes. onlines as well. Uh, historically, a Crusader player, Lufo, going to yeah. be rocking the Vanguard. Yeah, yeah, Vanguard has uh, definitely received some help this issue. I mean, everyone's really received yeah. help. Let's, let's be honest uh -huh. here. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to stop saying has received help. Everyone's received help. Just ha let that be a given. I mean, even, even, even I, I mean, bro, even Hitman received help. Nobody touched him. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Hitman was saved. Was, <laughs> help the, by the patch note for Hitman was Hitman's left alone. We're good. Let's go. Um, but yeah, yeah, um, Crusader. I was going to ask, like, man, I. I it's shocking because we haven't seen Crusader yet at all. Um, and also, this is a, gosh, this is a bracket without a Swiftmaster either. Yeah, so. yeah, Swiftmaster not yeah. really popular this version. He has been struggling. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah defi definitely a character that has gotten hit incredibly hard uh, by the patches. Uh, a lot of, uh, when Blue Linky still plays this game, Blue Linky right. is an Inquisitor player now. Doesn't actually rock the Swiftmaster as much. That's true. That's the character true. is very hard to play in this version. So probably not going to be seeing much of him. Mm. Uh, now Pineapple's uh, like so. Here's the funny thing about Crusader. Right, Crusader is definitely worse than the launch version. Uh, he's yeah. gotten a couple of key nerfs, but has the n now has the benefit of uh, <laughs> of Gold Cube. The Gold Cube version of this character uh, gets a Lumidios install simply by being below 30% health. <laughs> <laughs> You don't get the armor hit, of course. Yeah, but right. You're not Sentinel, but it is <laughs> it is quite it is quite strong. <laughs> yes. you know, we are vibing to the. You should vibe to the soundtrack. 
Also, uh, I want to want to give big appreciation, uh, y'all. If you haven't seen it, or if you're curious about uh, DNF Duel, check out Pineapple's Twitter. Uh, they put up a primer of a quick one-shot understanding of what the cubes do, the benefits across the cast, a little patch note changes as well. Uh, it's super helpful. Pineapple's pinned it to the top of their uh, Twitter, so definitely take a look at that because it's a quick little little learner. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a nice little card to have along the side, even when you're. Uh, you know, watch the stream of DNF Duel, and you're like, well, that looked insane. What does that even mean? Like, oh, yeah. We got you. Okay, here we go. Right. Pineapple's on Brawler. Mm -hmm. Now, Pineapple, cool. yeah, Pineapple's definitely does have the Brawler, too. Like right. I said, man, this character's getting very popular. Like, uh, like, 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 uh, like, uh, like applying, like, like, a lot of characters have to leave gaps in this game, yeah. uh, and Brawl is no exception, Brawler, but yeah. has access to those, uh, those guard point moves that lead to conversions. Yeah. So it's very, very, very important in this version of the game. Yeah, to have I'm that. just so surprised. Like at the outset, we didn't see a lot, but then again, like last bracket, uh, I'm seeing right because obviously on the onlines, definitely seeing more Brawler, but like. Even on offline, see Otaku, we just did not get a single one, but it was a fresh release of Brawler by yes, that point. Yes, yes, yes. But yeah, it, it, this, this character's definitely ri risen a lot in popularity, and oh my god, look at this conversion here. We're going to be getting a soft knockdown here. Strike a throw, what do we got? Oh, we're scuffing oh, your shoes? Yeah. So, when is it your turn? <laughs> yeah, I, that, 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 I, I'm sure that's what Lufo's wondering right now, as he uh, gets Good hit by gosh. the DT off the yeah. minus frames. And yeah, that's kind of the thing about the spin, right? It's completely armored, so you have to respect it when it when it first right. comes out. And tell me when it's going to end is actually kind of hard because because you can keep inputting it up until uh, I, th I think you can input about five or six times. Gosh. Yeah, it's tough. Yeah, so start paying attention, but then you're guessing every single time that opens up there, mm -hmm. just like Lufu ended up doing in this corner, going to get picked up by the barrels. Ooh. Oh. Okay, okay, we still got something going though. Wasn't able to block. Yeah, Pineapples are working real hard right now in this corner. Yeah, Pineapples is doing a lot of work. Lufel's really struggling to get out. Hasn't really had a chance to really push Vanguard's big buttons. Ooh, good back roll. Oh, okay. Oh, big cancels. Oh, we're just getting the pressure going. Oh my god, look at this guard bar. Yeah, look at this yeah. guard bar. Guard bar look at the scratch damage that we have applied to. Spent it all on conversion. So we only need one touch here from uh, Pineapples to seal the deal. Will they succeed? I mean... All right, don't get guard broken. You physically cannot get guard broken. Oh, oh. it just walks up with the guard point right there, trying to catch, trying to catch, the, uh, trying to catch the two A mash, and yeah. it ends up working out. What? And now, Panda was up one up. <laughs> Why did that do so much scratch damage? It's just <laughs> crazy. You were blocking. Yeah. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I S very strong against Vanguard in this version. Not a obviously not a perfect solution, but you, you mostly want to do it just to, just because Van, even before Awakening, Vanguard's gonna be doing a lot of guard damage. Right. You don't want all that. And it eliminates a pushback? Taunt by push. us. Yeah. Ooh, okay. Alright. I mean, okay, we're building up that scratch damage still for every IS there. Mm hmm. Oh, ooh. Right, put ourselves in awakening. Gets a spin once again. Try yeah. It. Let's go for a silly reset, but now we got the barrels. More IS. Look at that. Jeez. Oh, That's such a big risk for Pineapples to play, but it pays off, right? Because at least last game, it definitely helped out tremendously. Whoa! Tried to, tried to, tried to do behead armor into DP, but still armoring through because the guard point doesn't go away as long yeah. as you press. Oh my god. Oh, guard point oh. again. Yeah, very good. Break it down with the poison. Got damage over time applied. Wall comboing. Okay. Yeah, barrel summoned once again. Ooh. Yeah. Slick, clean stuff. And this might be the end of the set with a Pineapple's W, is it? Are we going to get the end here? We do, we are, do not have a way to kill him. Okay. Oh, beautiful. Oh. Beautiful. IS helps out. Oh, my God. Can see that reversal, too. Yeah, Pineapple. That's ridiculous. 2-0. Yeah, and Pineapple's not just a commentator, clearly. Gonna be moving on to no. losers' quarters. Pineapples, Pineapples knows a thing or two about the game. Look, you mm -hmm. can't say I'm just a commentator. You play this game. Mm -hmm. We're beyond that. Yeah, he's he's he was gaming pretty hard there. Like Lufu was really struggling to get anything started. The defense uh, yeah. from Pineapples too, also exquisite. Like I yeah. asking pretty much every hit, and it, it just prevented a situation where Lufu could like just safely like whittle away at that guard bar because no matter what happened, Lufu was going to be minus in Pineapple's face because of that IS. Yeah. yeah, it's literally just, and that's all that Pineapple's really did in a lot of those block situations. Kept ISing every single time, so mm -hmm. you're going to end eventually because yeah. I'm going to get that opportunity where we get to jab out. 
yeah. do succeed. Pineapples with a great understanding. See, this is exactly why you want to check out that uh, Pineapples Primer, because you're going to learn a thing or two about like these minor mechanics that did get added to the game, but they go a long way in terms of defense, for sure. Yep. And up next, we're going to be having Baconhausen coming up. Now, Baconhausen historically has been a troubleshooter main, but a lot of the troubleshooters dropped uh, after after the, the most recent big patch. Unbelievable. Yeah. I'm, Me I'm and Taco are very upset with all of you. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. Um, but uh, Bacon, uh, for most of this tournament, uh, as he has told me, has been rocking Inquisitor. Uh, also has a has a couple of pockets in, in there as well for a counter pick, but I'm not sure that we're going to need it against Crusader here. Mm. Now, obviously, GC Yoshi is someone who probably doesn't need any introduction for anyone on the stream. Multi <laughs> multi game gamer uh, already got knocked out of BB Tag though. Shout out that tweet. I read that. Oh dang! <laughs> dang, he said BB Tag's too crazy for me now, and I'm like, you know what? He might be right. But yeah, still rocking that Crusader. And honestly, I think I think Gold Cube Crusader might be the most GC Yoshi character of all time. <laughs> if we're being completely honest. I mean, it's interesting, right? Because I'm here like, well, you play Batman, and now you're here on Crusader. Like, mm -hmm. all right, I guess, I guess. Yep. But yeah, this is, uh, it's good to see GC Yoshi out here on the DNF Duel with Crusader. Yep. Yeah. The promise, the rules, on both sides. Wait, are we doing it? Oh, I think we're doing it. I think we're doing Musty, it. Musty, we're going to church. It's and it ain't even Sunday. It's hell in a cell right now, dude. Oh, my God. This is going to be Hallelujah. Woo-hoo-hoo. <laughs> Oh my god, I cannot wait. This is gonna. This, I, people like to say the word peak a lot. I, I, I don't think it's. A, a, it's it's pretty apt, I think, <laughs> at this moment. The peak! The peak! The peak! The peak is the pearly gates above oh. in the plus frames here at Frosty Fossing 16. Oh my god, here we go. Loses round one atop HECOC versus Baconhausen. Crusader Mirror in, in the year of our Lord 2024. Bless this throw! <laughs> Oh, okay. oh, nice. Move. The walls set up here. Confessional time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's going to break that one. It's going to go right through it. Oh, and there's a throw. Oh. Just for clarity's sake, GC Yoshi on the Red Crusader. I appreciate the Blue Crusader from uh, mm -hmm. Baconhausen. Yep. I do be liking that color. Oh, okay. We're going to get a little knockdown here from Bacon. Yeah, it's going to poke here. Both of them just kind of low blocking mid screen. Taking a moment to pray. Yeah. <laughs> Boom. 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 Despite, oh. so they mass applied. There we go. Get off me. They try to get a hard link there, but now GC Yoshi in that awakening. Here we go. Lumidios. Oh, oh you're no. done. Boom. <laughs> Good stuff. Congregation, Yoshi. we want to let you know when you open up with block, when you stop your prayer, before the prayer is over, you can expect an awakening. <laughs> a, a holy awakening. <laughs> okay. Uh, round one pretty solidly won by GC Yoshi here. <laughs> Okay, yep. I'm just gonna go folks. Swing, swing some hammers. Mm -hmm. Gonna go for tackle RC. Good stuff. Just trying to close nice that roll. space. Good roll. Hold on to the light. I love the shoulder charge right through it here to challenge. You don't want to give up too much ground. Be locked in a corner against Crusader, despite Crusader being able to set up a corner of their own. Yes. Oh yeah, Bacon's got to get some of this mana back before Ooh. we start playing the game again. Yeah, that was a very small let go of the guard to just crouch below the fireball, but unfortunately had to block right back because you Yoshi had it covered. No Bacon house is laughing right now, just trying to find a way in here. Oh, okay, here we go. Oh no, a little bit early on the on, on the five pass. Oh, but too far for the confirm. All right, tackle again. Throw. Oh, blessed. What a mash. Uh, this might be kill here for GC Yoshi. I don't, oh I, yeah, absolutely. You see the combo counter? It's at 12. But, um, no, okay, oh, never, never mind. mind. I jinxed it. I'm sorry. <laughs> boom. Boom. Double wall. Throw tech. Bam. Oh, and then they both go for 2A on the even frames, and the trade will lead to GC Yoshi win on game one. We are going to go back to Karis Select right away. Yeah, okay. <laughs> that, that, that's about what I expected. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Just need to remember, there is a false prophet here, <laughs> and the robes do come off. We see that the troubleshoot. See, I'm torn right now because yeah, now this is yeah. And now it doesn't fit. And this, and now it's over. Now I'm really hurt because I, I <laughs> y'all, I can't, I can't be doing the Reverend voice, <laughs> and, and, and then suddenly my my guy Chris, the troubleshooter shows up. Oh, that is just so unfortunate. You were having so much fun too, but unfortunately, Baconhausen. Thinking better of the whole thing yeah. and switching to the classic main. I haven't seen Troubleshooter be played in quite a while. Still a good character. Yeah. A lot of the a lot of the Troubleshooters uh, uh, ended up switching characters just because they're not a big fan of uh, his new routing. But yeah. still pretty much just as good as it used to be. Yeah, absolutely. Still being able to play that game so different. To aggressively push themselves into an awakening state. Oh, unfortunate. That was an early roll into that fireball. Oh, okay. Nice. Here. 
Full combo coming in. Yeah. Oh. Special. Throw down the net just for a quick drink. Almost there to that awakening opportunity. We should be able to get this here in a second. Yeah. Yeah, because we're going for this full route setup. Drink. Awoken. Oh, but yeah, we have, yeah, yeah, we don't get there with 50%. the 50%. There ah, it is. Yeah, and there we go. Had to convert. Boom, boom. Nice 2B. We'll absolutely get this pick up at the Sunday best supply with a 2A. Good respect on the frames here for Baconhausen. Watch yep. it, watch it. That's Ooh, a scoop. And this, Bless this throw. Yeah, really good throw there. And Baconhausen is rocking the 50% awakening, so we do actually not have the follow-ups on this one. Just a couple of buffs, but he's still playing it well. That being said, here we go. The pressure coming in. Yeah, classic, classic troubleshooter stuff. Oh, the, oh yeah, there's a grenade throw. A couple of grenade tosses. Kind of hard to deal with. Yes. It's Crusader. Yeah, but once we get that... Uh, you know, the Sunday best applied. It should be able to help out tremendously against grenades. Nice DP. No pickup, though. Thank goodness. I mean, he don't need it. Oh, okay. And there, there's a throw. Oh, oh nice. nice. Yeah. 2 way does find the mark. Good roll here with a DP on top of that fireball. Yeah, going to convert. Get some of that life back. Oh, it just going to run up in 5 D. Dunk. Oh, and this is, oh, is going to hurt. Oh, with the awakening on top of it. Oh. Oh, actually messed up the combo. Knocked yeah. him out. Okay. Just remember, Ragnarok cometh for all. Boom, boom. Yeah, you can't be trying to put on a Sunday best when the mm -hmm. man has a gap from full screen there. Yeah. Especially in Awakening, because mm -hmm. that's going to get the follow-up. Doesn't need it this time, but mm -hmm. that's something to keep in mind. Yep. Okay. Get the swing, trying to come in. I'm not going to find it, though. Yeah, 5B oh. is going to be uh, key to shut down fireballs and interact with fireballs so differently compared to the rest of the cast anyway. Yep. Drop the record routing, but we're going to be able to get it here in another little knockdown here Reset. for Baconhausen. Yeah. Here we go. B to force the tech. Oh, no. Got the 5A instead of the Ooh, shot the that we're looking for. Nice pick up. That is a big pick up. Oh. Drink up. Stay healthy with another grenade. Jump S. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, and we got a wall set up here, which means we're going to be going right into this apocalypse. Let's get in this corner. Oh, my God. Oh, the guard bar. Yo, yo, yo. yo. Going nice for indomitable spirit, though. That took up so much health. You have to protect yourself with no guard, basically. No. Trying to go for the gunshot. <laughs> Getting snipe. Now, you must remember, all sins are confessed in confessional booth. Mm. And you may have been taking the drink. The devil's elixir. That's called bars. And you may... You may get more power from it, so you believe. Mm. But you must understand, mm. God cometh for all. Oh yeah. And Crusader, Crusader will answer the call. Mm. He is a holy warrior. Oh yeah. And still will advance on this loser side here. Yep. Now nah, really, really good stuff coming from GC Yoshi there. Gonna clutch it up with the spear toss, and we're gonna be getting GC Yoshi right back on stream again against Axtran. Uh, uh. Yeah, we're just run we're running right through this bracket. Yeah, right through. It might just be a lot of back to back too, because I think they're still running through a bit of BB tag right now, I believe. Mm -hmm. so yes. Yeah. I've just been timing for that. Yep. Yep. So we're yes, we're getting through this top eight. We're getting some good matches in, ladies and gentlemen. Mm -hmm. If you guys are enjoying the matches, please push one in the chat. Let me know. But the, yeah, this next match is gonna be really good here. Axe Chan, unfortunately not putting up uh having a really hard time there against Golden Eye in Winterside, but already made it all the way to this top eight. And GC Yoshi, definitely no slouch. And, right. and a player that a lot of these guys uh, who have been mostly playing in online is just not familiar with the, the style of, but Axchan, a very, very capable player. Yeah. Yeah. Locked in here. You know, yeah, with this Inquisitor, this is a matchup that I think is going to be much better with uh, than what it was with Ranger, right? Like, mm -hmm. you're still going to be able to uh, contend with a lot of what uh, Crusader wants to do. Setting up a wall isn't so bad for you either. Like, y you do have a lot of great reversal options. It's just going to be how Crusader locks you down in the corner. Mm -hmm. um, and in the creative corner, yeah. in the professional. <laughs> the biggest air quotes on corner of yeah. all time. <laughs> but uh, Inquisitor, uh, a little bit of higher reward than Crusader this version. Um, mm -hmm. Definitely a character that can really threaten. Like, 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 like once, once, it's very hard for Crusader to get out of Inquisitor pressure in this version. Uh, and the only, the, the, like, the biggest hiccup for Inquisitor is just trying to get into that initial position. Yeah. But, but one clean whiff punish into, like, a 40% combo, and then you're gaming. You're in the corner. You're already in there. Absolutely. The movement is so, especially with her command dash, like, that helps out a lot. Uh, we used to see that quite a bit in other matchups, but with, when you're up against zoners, we, you don't get to see it that all, all that often. But mm -hmm. against Crusader in particular, I think we might. One threat that we do want to watch out for in this matchup in particular is the Holy Spirit. Uh, I, that is going to really stop Inquisitor dead in her tracks. But 
A nice open here from Akchen. Yeah, here we go. Akchen with a nice little routing here. Gonna be getting this corner. Just gonna reapply. Gonna reapply the goop. Yep, we want that benefit and bonus here. Bonus. Burned up. And good lead to start off for Axchen. Yeah, and and, there's, and and that's a really really important button in this matchup. That Inquisitor 5A, that 5A, colossal, zero on block. This an incredibly good button, and and probably the and, and, and the main tool that makes this matchup good for Inquisitor. Here. Yep. Oh and see that uh, that command dash so important because mm. you're going to be able to go under those orbs. You're able to continue pressure. That's why I said like against other zoners traditionally that's not an option for her, but this one in particular is so successful. We keep it locked down with the wheel of death. No mana anymore, so that is an opportunity for GC to get out. But there's no escape. The 5A catches the side swap. Yeah, I, I really appreciate the catch on the roll there from yeah. Max Gen. Oh, nice DP. Ooh. And this is his curse, too. Oh, wait, no, it actually was not. Uh, nope, the, nope. The, 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 uh, the buff seems to have ended. Oh, but a drop from GC Yoshi. That is important, but still going to live. Interesting. I thought we were close to that up there. Yeah. Yeah, that fire active on the ground. Definitely going to get caught by that one. Not too far. No holy water, but yeah, command dash. You're going to catch the plus for his for 2A. Ooh, and a little simple combo here. Ooh, and a little bit of a pump fake there on the safe jump. Mm -hmm. Ooh, very good roll from Axe Chan. Plus, it'll build up that scratch damage, so we're going to heal right back up a little bit here, increasing your mana. Great route. Okay, here we go. And we got another wheel coming in. More pressure. GC Yoshi has the bar to guard cancel here. Are we going to see it? No, we're going to see a wall attempt, but wall is so much slower this version. You're not going to be able to get away with that. We got some loops in the corner here as well. Yeah. Yeah, resets with the oil here. Got the curse applied once again. Purge this evil. Oh, okay. The flame. It's out. The pressure. It's coming in. More fire. A wheel of time. Yo, shout out wheel of time. I kind of want to start reading it, but, like, it's so long, bro. <laughs> oh, my God. The car breaks. It's going to be as long as this combo will be here. Yeah, that's what I'm about to say. <laughs> like, 15 mana left, though. We'll see what we got. Yeah, I had to go for reset to get the finish. And there we mm -hmm. got the 2A. But we traded. Yep. Yeah, and, and there we go. The Axe is going to be able to get the first game here. Let's, let's, let's see if GC Yoshi can make a comeback. Oh, trying to go for the 5A. Mm -hmm. Not quite going to hit. And now we're here in pressure. Yeah, it doesn't want to go for that dash. And at that range, we'll get punished out if we do. Yo, and losing so much ground here. And GC Yoshi just running it. All right, see, that spear had to roll, but perfect positioning here because the angle allowed for Axe Chan to get that grab. And now GC taking their first significant combo of the game. Mm -hmm. And Axe looking pretty good here. Going to get the DP Ender this time. Oh, and going to reset again. Oh, but going to get DP'd out. But yeah, every single time, every single time we've seen that fireball from GC Yoshi, that dash has come out from Axe Chan. Yeah. Just so clean. Yeah. Like, every single time, the reactions have just been so good. Which honestly, like, it's so much better than trying to roll through because that is another option other characters have. And of course, you can low profile just by crouching, so you have a couple options to avoid it. But all the better to go into Command Dash and then immediately be able to take that action right yep. away. Now, it's kind of hard for Crusader to deal with because all of Crusader's folks at that range are also committal. So yep. honestly, like, trying to find a way around that Command Dash is tough. Because yeah. alternatively, Ash Can could also just wait. Yeah. And you could just be wrong. Jesus, and you gotta hold the wheel of time and pain. Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go. That oiled up. Gonna oh, oh, oh! Jump B at the very maximum range. Able to close the gap. Yeah, that was a very, very good pickup from Axe. Oh, and GC Yoshi in a little bit of trouble here with the guard bar. And, and not gonna opt to guard cancel at all in this set, but we are gonna be dying here now as we were stuck in that situation. Axe Gen takes it 2 0 over GC Yoshi. Tough. Respectable fifth place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, gosh, it, like, that matchup is just so difficult. Just watching how Inquisitor can close that gap just freely. Like, mm -hmm. just, hey, you threw an orb, which is normally supposed to keep me at bay, or I just hold crouch. I'm dashing through. Yeah, please give, <laughs> give Axe Chan a dap, please. Yeah. Because it's only <laughs> <a> Megan. <laughs> yeah. No, that was incredibly good from Axe Chan. And I was definitely worried that Axe Chan was maybe getting a little bit of those stage fright, a little bit of stage nerves. Not oh, sure yeah. how many offlines that they've been to. But uh, showing right there that that's not the case at all. Yeah. Uh, Golden Eye was just playing really well during that set. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. So hope we'll definitely be seeing Axe Chan later against the winner of this set up here. we got Pineapples coming back up versus Davids. Davids going back at it again. Might have that Brawler mirror right now. 
Mm. That'd be interesting. Yeah. You know. Yeah, definitely. How many barrels can you throw? Yep. <laughs> DK. No, 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 we no. are not here. We're not no. here. We're not doing not that. There yet. No. We're not there yet. No, <laughs> no. Not, not until they're all out. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, no more Crusader. Mm -hmm. you know, so, actually, uh, slightly grateful. My throat appreciates it. Yeah, I was gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the uh, Crusader's a little bit too exciting, man. <laughs> it, it, uh, a commentator's like favorite day and, and worst nightmare at the same time. It, it's it's a blessed time, quite literally. Yep. Especially if you have more commentary later, dear God. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh boy. All right. So, potentially a brawler beer, like you said. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, we'll see what Pineapples brings out here. Yep. This is going to be a pretty interesting matchup, too, because, like, both of them, ha both these characters have just incredibly long reaching pokes with those chains. Uh, like, like, pretty much it's going to be a battle from mid screen, and then the moment they're in, it's just going to be a lot of guard point, because uh, a lot of the. Uh, Brawler, typical defensive options, you know, your DP, your uh, your fast, your seven framer, they're not that good. Hitboxes aren't mm -hmm. great on them, on either of them. Uh, so the armor offense is going to be really tough to deal with on mm -hmm. either side. So I feel like the focus is definitely going to be more on the mid screen in this matchup. Yeah, yeah. Uh, especially once you get that first initial knockdown, then of course, you know, the obvious gambit is to roll yeah. for the uh, corner position, mm -hmm. uh, run your Oki game right, you have yeah. your barrel set up on top of it. Especially applying poison, I think that's going to be the tip for tat here that we see. Yeah. All right, All right so locked in. Brawler versus Brawler. Yeah, we're heading right into the match here. Brawler, Mirror, both of them on the clear queue. Let's see what we got. Yeah, it, it, I'm, honestly for the buffs, right? I mean, mm -hmm. we saw both of them represent that uh, in their uh, matches prior. Yes. So. We've seen a lot of 50% in the clear cube yeah. uh, picks today, you know, with yep. the exception of Vanguard and uh, uh, I believe it was the Crusader as yeah, well. Crusader, uh, and, and Inquis. Uh, Inquis, yeah, 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 yeah. The, the <laughs> yeah, the, yeah, the power of Gold Inquis is a, it, it's definitely too, it definitely cannot be understated. Ooh. But okay, yeah, we got the pressure sequence coming in here. Ooh, catching in the air too, which means you still get the full combo and the poison. Ooh, and the barrels, armor plus barrels. We gotta hold these. Ooh. Already, I mean, you gave up ground, unfortunately, there too. That's uh, was it David's on the red brawler and the green brawler for pineapples. Mm -hmm. But David's giving up ground, unfortunately, on that back roll. While it was the right call to stop the uh, the falling uh, yeah. shrapnel, right? But uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is the best match I've ever seen in my entire life. That Crash was Bandicoot. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> I'm gonna swing my arms like this. If you get hit, it's your yep. fault. Oh, and good stuff there from Divis. Uh, guessing right on the end there. Yeah. And here we go. The damage coming in. Barrels. Yeah, I like the conversion. Keep it double high right there. Make a fuzzy situation. Ooh, and the backdash conversion there to get out of that situation. I like it. But now we gotta deal with these cans. And uh, so much gray life right there. So oh, we're getting s oh. Oh, the 2B. Good stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sneaky. Yeah, very good on Pineapples there for the recognition of positioning uh, 2B. Definitely going to call out the opponent, especially when they overextended with the spin. I mean, it was the back roll that really got that extra positioning. Had uh, uh, Pineapples kind of stayed in the exact same spot, you would have a different interaction after. Probably like a uh, 2A attempt, maybe. Yeah. Or even just block like we have here. But we got the space to make the opponent whip punish. So that's a good call for Pineapples. Oh, and the throw bait into the fully... Oh, that was such a clean conversion there from Davids. Very good stuff. He's been going for the throw bait a lot throughout uh, both of his sets. Finally working out too. Leading to a lot of damage as well. Stagger. Nice. Got the 2A for staggering. Nice. Big pick up here. Might not be able to kill even with the barrels, but is going to do a lot of damage. Oh, enough spins and just enough spins. Never mind. I have been proven wrong. All right. D Davids with the uh, first round and second game. Ah, uh, too far of a jump in. So we're definitely going to get 5A uh, punished. Yep. Okay, here we go. Free damage into a knockdown here for Pineapples. Oh, going for the same setup here. But now Good Pineapples one. actually out of meter, so we're going to have to hold most of this. No guard cancel available. Mm -hmm. Oh, but tries to spend it on DP. This is going to do so much. Yeah, we might drop out early just so we don't push into Awakening until we can get that next combo. See, yep, that's what we got the setup. Oh, but a big spend in mana, so even if you do get this next hit, you're not prepared to finish the job. Yeah, and, and now because of all of that white life gone, it is now going to be a goes. kill here for Davids. Here it is, the super, and we got a game three situation on our hands in the mirror, ladies and gentlemen. Boom.
big bet. Pulls out this tainted chicken leg. <laughs> I'll hit you with it. This you serve this food? Can't eat this. It's on burnt. <laughs> I now use it as a bet. Okay, here we go. Nice. Uh, Using the poison to block, block the barrels. Mm -hmm. Very nice anti-air there from Pineapples as well, but a DP from Davids not trying to let Pineapples have any momentum whatsoever. Oh, but the anti-air again. Oh, what you want on this wake up? I, you, gotta I, block. you gotta block. I, I respect that to such a heavy degree from Pineapples. What a call out. Oh, no. Oh, time to come up. Nice. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Who wins the armor war? Oh, my God. This character is insane. I get to spend my armor second. That means I win. So true. Okay, we got barrels. Oh, we got the barrel battle. Oh, no. The other barrels disappear because the other two came. Uh, no. Pineapple's block go to. Mm -hmm. Oh, here we go again. Yep, and just get out of the way. Oh, but the conversion, the catch of the 2B whip punish attempt. I like it. Oh, and yeah, David's trying to go for a bit of a cheeky reset there. Oh, there it is. The spins. And we have the conversion available, which means this is going to be a combo leading Pineapples to potentially a last hit scenario. Oh, absolutely. I said after this, needs to build up some mana if we want to guarantee it. And considering the exhaustion stage, it's not a good look. Pineapples got opened up a drop early from Dave, Davids. Oh, yeah. oh, the spins, and that is going to be enough. Davids not happy about that one, and Pineapples is going to be taking that one two to one. Yeah. Good stuff. Yeah, you can see David is a little bit disappointed from that, but still a great performance. Going to land at a very nice fifth place. Yeah. It was almost just it, the styles between these two were so just, just so starkly different. different. Yeah. yeah, because Pineapples is just absurdly aggressive. Mm -hmm. And I feel like David's kind of wanted to do something like that, but we never really got to see David's really get that ball rolling mm -hmm. in any shape, way, or, or way, shape, or form. Just yeah. Pineapple is just way oppressive right now. Yeah. We definitely saw shades of that in uh, we saw shades of that in game number two, but it was just not just couldn't carry the momentum over to game yeah, three. Yeah, Pineapples yeah. made the adjustments very quickly. Yeah, yeah, I'm, and I mean like and, it, and that matchup definitely looks a little bit frustrating too. I mean like like like, like I like I predicted, man, that armor really good against <laughs> against the same character. <laughs> yeah, you know, and it's always interesting because the, sometimes you run into mirror matches where the mirror isn't good at handling their own like oak or like even own offensive pressure. What do we do? More Ranger? Ooh. We just go bang bang, bang right. bang. And we're not going to go bang bang quite yet because you know what? We got to pay for the ads. So if you want to bang bang out these ads, <laughs> we'll be right back and check them out. Yep. See you in a sec. Gaming Gen is once again proud to partner with Frosty Faustings. They offer everything you need to run an amazing event. Equipment, branding, even planning and logistics. From industry players to tournament organizers, the best of the best trust Gaming Gen with their events. Gaming Gen. Industry-leading event services. We hope you're enjoying Frosty Faustings as we host the last stop on the Ark World Tour. Mark your calendar for March 21st through 23rd for the Ark World Tour Finals to see how the final chapter ends. 
With discounted tickets and VIP exclusive collectibles, now is the perfect time to get your tickets. Frosty Faustings is thrilled to host the first stop on the Skullgirls Championship Series 2024. Be sure to download Skullgirls Second Encore and Skullgirls Mobile on your cell phone. And Marie, the latest challenger for the Skull Heart, is available on Steam Early Access. Paragon FGC brings you Paragon Line, with ladder format from 4 to 6 p.m. Pacific, 7 to 9 p.m. Eastern. $100 starting prize pool every Tuesday. Completely free to enter for North American players only. And since it's ladder format, you can stop and go whenever you like. It's your call. Play more or play less. Slashback returns as NorCal's famous anime-inspired fighting game tournament. Fiending for more tournaments with classic Guilty Gear action, Slashback has all three. Enjoy NorCal's biggest attraction outside of the Redwood Forest. Games, music, artists, and a fantastic vibe. Boston Blue Beat presents Beach Episode Campout. Join them August 10th through 11th. Dive right in at startgg slash beach. Watch out for sharks and don't drown in pools. Cream City Convergence C3 is back for another banger at the Baird Center in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Scan the QR code, register now, and get ready for some high-level competition. Don't miss your chance to pick up this year's limited edition Frosty Faustine's gear, including truly custom cut-and-sew pieces with ultra-breathable FGC Aloha shirts, scarves, and beanies galore. All right, thank you for your patience and hanging out with you. You hate the mirror. Oh, uh, no. You brought this upon yourself. <laughs> I want to. I want to know what Golden Eye is saying, is saying to the camera right now. He's he's having a bit of a bit of a lost soul moment. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait! Oh, we're not playing oh. the mirror. Cal pulling out the pocket now. Now now Cal's Cal's a bit of a YouTuber enjoyer, right? Okay. Okay. Been, been, been putting out a bunch of uh, a bunch of long sets with his battle mage. Uh, I've watched a couple of them. He is very good as this character, and this character is. Uh, pretty underdeveloped currently, so I'm really excited to see how this looks. Yeah, you know, I'm really interested to see because, you know, like I said, the Atsu Otaku when Brawler had come out, like, nobody really was playing Brawler. Like, we had a couple, but we didn't get to see any Brawler in top eight outside of, like, one or two matches, I believe. And so being able to see Battle Mage in a winner's finals opportunity is, you know, very interesting. I'm going to be learning a lot alongside with you here. Yep, a little bit of, and it looks like a little bit of a dive bomber follow up here. Yeah. Going to be getting the knockdown as well. Okay, we're stocked up. Oh, okay. Ooh. All right, going to push back. Yeah, we got one. Yeah, it looks like, ooh, so, yeah, Chaser Summon into conversion. Seems very strong for this character. Yes. But Golden and I going to be able to get that hit, taking this corner, trying to get this corner back as well. Going to be just getting a little bit of a mid screen grenade toss. Ooh, ooh, all right, got the Helm Splitter. So clearly, top tier Helm Splitter means Yeah, top. yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right, let's push. She's too small. You can't shoot her. Oh, oh, not, not, not quite going to be able to get the full combo there. Oh, and a bit of a whiff from Cow. Oh, oh. Ooh. nice little low crush there. Oh, Pickup should be able to wrap this up. Cow yeah. takes the first round in winners finals. Mm -hmm. Speaking of low crushes, right there, just going to go right into that, uh, into that jump M. Just yeah, to go yeah, over. Yeah, yeah. That probably was, was a match to it. Oh, and yeah, and that's like the big key here for Cow. Just, oh, just looking for a situation where we can call out that two A. Yeah. Okay, star follow up. Ooh, spent them all on the DP there. Yeah. That was a hard knockdown. Big damage. Gun Hawkins just asked for full screen, so we can try to zone out here. She's too short. You can't 5 in. Oh, and there's DP. Oh, no. Ranger can't 5 in. Ooh. Oh, and yeah, we're just going to be shooting the gun a little bit. Bang, yeah. bang. Bang, bang. Oh, follow up the chase. Oh, my God. So much blocks, and there's free offense there for Cal. Pressure again. Nice, got the counter hit, should be able to seal it up, and there's a round for GoldenEye. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very, very nice poke out there from GoldenEye. Cal, uh, with the tie rounds here, but let's see, let's see what the adjustments are. Oh, oh caught the anti-air, yeah, just a little bit too low to the ground right there. Even a 5A would have worked that time, finally, because Cal was taken to the skies. Yeah, Cal trying to go for the DP there, gonna get called out this time, hard knockdown. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Gunshot knockdown here. And notice Goldeneye not going for an approach at all. Does not want to deal with this uh, Battle Mage pressure. Double oh. Scud Genocide to catch the jump. In, you know, Kyle with the right idea to try to get the punish, but Goldeneye not going to get caught. Yeah, this is looking really tough for Kyle right now. Goldeneye is continuing the pressure. Kyle really unable to get past the bullets here. Really struggling with the zoning. Ooh. 
More stagger. Ooh, a little too far away for that to work. And there's yes. a DP. Very clean. Very oh, good stuff. Highest into the guard break. And that's not going to be enough to kill. Just a 5B, 2B loop. Not going to work out. Oh, so we started blasting, but the IS Oof. puts you in a very precarious position because, yeah, you're going to get that, uh, you're going to not lose out on guard gauge, but you lose out into scratch damage, which then means mm -hmm. one shot away from death. Yep. And Cal, pretty, it seems to be very against the mirror because we are definitely not going to be getting a switch here. We're sticking out with this battle mage. We're going to try to make it work. Don't worry, folks. It is first to three in this winner's finals. So mm -hmm. we have another potential opportunity, but... Uh, <gasps> Yo, that was a sick roll from Goldeneye. Let me go back to the side he thought I was on real quick. Yup. And Cow is in trouble here. Goldeneye is just making every right decision. Good. Back roll, though. Okay, here we go. The pressure here. From, uh, pressure from Cow. Oh, tries to go for that DP. Tries to sneak it in. Does not quite work. But yeah, and this is looking like a tough matchup for Battle Mage. It doesn't really have options to close the distance here against Ranger. Oh, yeah. Ah. See, the idea was to navigate over, just like we saw earlier um, with... Uh, with Inquisitor trying to hop over the uh, Gunhawk. Same yep. thing. I'm, I'm hoping that we see some more rolls from Cal. It can be a little high risk sometimes if Goldeneye is looking for them, but they haven't represented yet. Right. And Jump is definitely not getting you anywhere. <laughs> oh. A, a DP attempt not quite in yeah. range. Uh, too far for that one. I wonder if we thought Slide was coming through. Maybe, but Grenade will help extend this combo here. Yep, here we go. Or not count. Oh, try to go for the DP half of the mix up here. Oh, but was a little mistimed the throw just a little bit. You can do a dash up throw to punish that there, but just wasn't quite there for Cow. Just a little late, and we yes. are probably going to get the switch to the Ranger here. here yep, it is. there we are. So you know you don't like the mirror, but hey, you know what? You're going to bring it out. Yeah, you know what? You got to win. If you, if you, you got to win if you got to win. I mean, you are now down at a deficit, though. Mm -hmm. Like, one game is all that Goldeneye needs. We've seen this mirror happen before, uh, between these two in particular. I mean, obviously, we've seen this mirror happen before in yes. prior, like, you know, TNS tournaments and uh, you know, other online tournaments as well, like can opener, but... Uh, yeah. Oh, oh the grenade? grenade. Yeah, the Yikes. grenade toss. You're going to blow it up probably with a shot there. Oh, yep. Matching the jump beat. It's going to get as much damage at, off of that little hit as possible. This is looking good for Golden Eye already, already catching the roll. Crazy. Boom, boom. Bop, 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 back bop. down. Ba -ta -ta -ta. What do we got? And the throw. Boom. Slide on into DMs. Yep. 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 Couple scut genocides right there. Just want to bring it. Yo, mm -hmm. watch out for this grenade, though. And it ended up being a safe jab yeah. on the little DP there. Oh, and I think the throw was a mistake. But there opportunity for Cal. We got the big yeah. debuff. Oh, right. ISing. Look at all that gray life. Do not get hit. Yeah. Oh, that's a big one. Yeah, that's a big catch up opportunity here for Cal. As long as you can get an easy confirm, but it's not looking like it at the zoning range. Yeah, a single shot is all it's going to take. Goldeneye is one round away from advancing into grand finals. Mm -hmm. This is looking not good for Cal whatsoever. No. And, uh, immediately committing to the 5MS, trying to call out a round start from Goldeneye, but Goldeneye being very patient, playing it very safe. Yeah. And Cal not finding the openings. Nice jump in. Slide. Nice. Finally have an opportunity for Cal here. Yeah, especially with this lockdown in this grenade corner. Plenty of indomitable spirit, but not finding our opportunity quite yet. The 2A interrupt does work out. Yeah, nice counter poke there from Goldeneye. Uh, but you Can put go? Cal into uh, Awakening here, so now oh, debuff opportunity. With pick up over the guard cancel Yo. bait. Oh, and you are dead. What pa Oh! Oh no! This is how it starts, ladies oh, and gentlemen. No, no, no. This is how it starts. Oh, you this is how it starts. Oh, no. combo! Oh, we got the throw. We got the throw. We got the throw. This is how it starts, ladies and gentlemen. This. Oh my God! Yeah, you do not want that. You do not want that. So close to victory. So close to victory. Just for it to fall out of your hands, literally. I'm speechless. <laughs> I can, you can't do that. Not I, in a game like this. It is so volatile. You drop a single combo, it's the end for you. And Cal mm. finding that opening, able to get the throw. Oh, <gasps> oh and the DP bait no. as well. Oh back to back my ease. God! Ouch! Block, please. That, that is damage. You got a block. That is damage. Ba 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 ba. Ah, not going to be enough to kill. We need one more hit if you're. Ooh! <laughs> and the throw bait. Cal still alive. That is so unfortunate. If you're Golden Eye, you should have dropped that combo. You shouldn't have dropped that combo. 
He shouldn't have dropped the combo. He did the 5 MS a little too early. No, that's what happens. Shot the combo. That's what happens. Okay. Bop, bop, bop. Little drop combos. All right. Nice pickup this time. Okay. And, 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 and this could be a potential comeback here for Cal. Already starting off on the right foot on offense here. Ooh, nice I, knee. I thought that was a bait. I thought that was a bait. But Cal did end up pushing 2A. DP. Oh Yo, Cal <laughs> is locked in right now. Cal is reacting so well to every situation on offense from GoldenEye, who now oh doesn't know. For like the first time in the set, doesn't have the lead. The oh. mental damage from dropping that combo was super effective. Yeah, it, it, it seems to be doing a lot of work right now for Cal. This is dangerous. Oh, doesn't check the roll. Nice, DP. Oh, okay. tries to go for the throw bait again with a DP from GoldenEye this time. Not going to let it happen. What a roll. Yep, good, good throw. throw. Oh, my God. Cow. Yeah. Cow. Musty. What is happening? Cow. <laughs> Cow is mooing all over the stage right now, dude. It's crazy. Cow got hit with the disease. You know, mm. the one. The mad one. <laughs> okay, we're just going to hang out in the air for a little bit. The 5MS is not going to connect to anything. So I said, he's got mad cow disease. Oh, my God. <laughs> Mad cow disease, no. Back throw, boom. Two A, gotta be pitching, can't be jumping in at that range. All right, GoldenEye sliding into a DP. All right, there we go. The classic, because you're trying to chip away here. I dare you to spend a Domitable Spirit. Doesn't happen. Yeah. Oh, and, oh what a roll. Good reaction oh to the God. slide. Musty. No. I, 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 can't, I can't believe this. I, I actually just cannot believe this. Oh, oh, oh. oh yeah. my oh, God, the speak the of the devil. Speak but we got Awakening here, too. We have Awakening, but yeah. I, I don't think it's going to be enough no, to kill. No, it's not going to be enough to kill here. It is the clear cube super. Oh, but we're just going to dash him and throw. No respect whatsoever. Cow tying up the set two to two. I can't believe this. I can't no, believe this. No, GoldenEye no. was about to get like a flaw practically a flawless victory in this winner's finals. And just all of a sudden, it has just turned around. And, 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 it, and it is all Cow right now. It's all I, cow. Yo, keep swinging till the cow comes home at this point because holy smokes, cow with the scud genocide in this corner grenade setup. We'll get the combo extension. Oh my god, yeah. Golden, Golden Ice unable to get out oh of this corner, no. out of this pressure. Oh no awakening no. available. Oh, no. the Lady P. Yep, gonna have to block the grenade, but the Gunhawk is actually not close enough to connect. Oh this no! The oh, this is so bad for Golden Eye. Is this gonna be enough to kill? We have the 5MS <laughs> on deck, but it did. <laughs> Wow. What? Uh, don't let it happen to you. You how, can't look at it. Go how is this trying happen? to, trying to get it? the cow's head. Like, you know what? Yeah, I actually killed you like a couple games ago. You know that, oh, right? Like, just goodness. so you know. Oh. You're supposed to let me win. Okay. Oh, no, you oh. got to recover from that. Just because you drop a combo yeah. does not mean the rest of the game but, is over. I but mean, look at Cow locked in right now. Oh, I don't care that you rolled the 2A. Eh? Get back in the corner. I can't believe it. Cow, check the roll. This is this is next level right now. Uh, the oh, offense no. from Cow is just perfect. Throw. Grenade. grenade boom. Bop. Pop, 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 Jesus Christ. Pow. Oh, and we're not even going to go for the... Oh, and then Jimmy, you cannot be serious. And Cal with the most insane reverse 3 I've seen in my entire life. The drop from GoldenEye was insane. Oh. <laughs> you died. Oh, he's, he's dead. You, you died. Don't... Oh, my God. Okay, so I, I, need, I need someone in the chat to make an edit of GoldenEye dropping that combo and it just skipping to the final windscreen, please. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. That, that is, zoop. I gotta go. I gotta go. Yeah. I can't be here anymore. I'm I'll just witnessing. <laughs> I'll see you later. Ah! <laughs> I'm calling the police. I saw a robbery. <laughs> <laughs> insane winners finals. No. Insane play from Kyle. I've never seen like that is the most mental damage I've ever seen anyone receive in the world. Like I, Crusader might be out of this tournament. But God, God was really on Cal's side, man. <laughs> God was really on his side. Oh, oh my God. Oh, my goodness. God on the side of the Canadians today. I swear that to God. That was that's the most insane thing I've ever seen. Oh, we got the brawler buff. Oh, we got the brawler chain. Yo. Pineapples. Let's go. Okay. That is incredible. All chained up. Mm-hmm. You already know. This is going to be good. This is going to be a good set, ladies and gentlemen. We've got loose finals coming up. Our last first of two of the day, we got yes. Pineapples versus Axe Chen. I'm still stuck on one I, single drop combo. I, the one ruins your entire <laughs> thing. <laughs> oh, my God. Like, you just needed a touch. You didn't have yep, just I, one shot. It, 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 one, one shot, you had to take it, and unfortunately the combo was just not there.
You gotta. You That's can't tough, miss. man. You can't miss. You cannot miss. Oh. Okay, we're gonna be heading back into the match here. We we gotta move on. We gotta move on. <laughs> we we gotta get past this. <laughs> That's the most heartbreaking story that you'll ever find here at Frosty Fosting mm -hmm. 16, folks. Yep. Like, you can't you yeah. can't make it up. A legendary comeback from Cal here in DNF Top 8 Winners Finals. I cannot believe there's just no footing to be found all right, at all. Well, there's, there's hope. There there's is hope. hope. There's Losers there's Finals. Hope. There's Losers Golden Finals. Golden is still alive. It's not over for him yet. He's got a set to think about what happened. And to and to get the mental back, but you know what? We can't focus on that right now. We got Axe we Chan. We do have losers pineapples. semis. Yeah, yes. losers semis with Axe Chan up against. Ooh. How are you gonna let someone give you the change and chains and then not go brawler <laughs> and lead us not to temptation? <laughs> and I will deliver thee from evil. Oh, we're back. Preacher's back. It's time. And I, I mean, we do have two members of God here, so. Well, I mean, one's really extreme, you know. Let's yeah, be quite honest. One takes like, it this a little, is a little far, you, you know. know. A little far. Uh, a little much. <laughs> okay, here we go. Game number call one. Call pastor right now. What oh, was call, that? Call him right now. What's that scripture about temptation? We'll get, <laughs> we'll get the third mic on here right now. If, if <laughs> all right, walls. Okay. Confessional, confessional applied out here. A little bit of conversion. I think that was supposed to be guard cancel attempt. Maybe just <clears> preemptively pump. Oh, okay. Here All we right. go. Big hit here from Action. Boom, boom. Boom. Boom, boom. Oh, we got the optimals. Boom. Yeah. Solid pickup. Follow with the oil applied here. And Ooh. we're going to charge right through. Great call out here from Pineapples. A couple Holy Spears. Ooh, Just yeah. put the opponent into awakening here. So that is uh, kind of a full stop sign there for Pineapple. So you have to be careful. <gasps> With throw, only gets the Chicago punish for it. Mm. I mean, we are here, right? So. Yeah, we are here. It's not inaccurate. Ooh. Oh, but this is going to kill. We have so much damage on the table here. Yeah, especially yeah. with the damage over time on the uh, holy water. Mm -hmm. Burn the at the stake. <laughs> Good stuff. Axe Chan taking that first round. Pineapples, uh, we, we actually just saw Action play this matchup against GC Yoshi and performed exceptionally well in this, so I'm honestly curious as to why Pineapples uh, wants to play this over Brawler. Yeah, I mean, it seemed like it was a great start because he did control that pace, but... All right, we'll see how you lock it in. All right, Ooh. nice 2A. Already got this uh, curse applied. Bring it back down, another water apply. Push you right outside of Awakening. So the next confirm should be close to kill. Not quite killing. Indomitable Spirit definitely going to help out. Ooh, okay. Action is completely safe there. We're going to get a couple of Spears here from Pineapples. Oh, and now we're in Awakening. If you get hit. Oh, ouch. Oh, this is going to hurt. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you got the Awakening right back here. Ooh. And if you hold your faith together, oh my the Lord God. will pay you back in kind. And, that, and, and there it is. God's light will shine upon you as soon as I enter that 30% life. <laughs> as soon as I enter that 30% life. As soon as the hit 30%. When you're at the lowest of your low. <laughs> when you're taking a knee. Ask God for assistance. <laughs> and ye shall receive the light blessed by God. God's plan. God's plan. God's plan. God's plan. All right. Well, God's plan is flowing through Axe Chan right now with the Inquisitor. A little bit of damage over time with that curse applied again. Of course, that corner pressure. And this Ooh. time around, see the adjustment. Mm -hmm. Axe Chan going outside of the range of shoulder check from Pineapples to still apply the heat, get the burnout explode. Oh, we got the full loops on deck. We're not going to be able to kill. We're not going to be able to get the DP. And there's a big drop there for Axe Chan. We'll see if Pine well, Pineapples is going to get, get here. Oh, and we're actually just going to run. Oh, Whoa. of course, because we're trying to bait out <gasps> the... Oh, the Rapture, mm. but a scoop here from Axe Chan. We'll take that first game. Yeah, and the throw tech actually just completely getting rid of the apocalypse. Very, very yeah. smart there yeah. from Axe Chan. A 1-0 lead now. Very good awareness. I, I think if that throw tech didn't happen, that would have been so dangerous. Probably would have led to a potential guard break situation. Yeah, yeah. Okay, taking a moment to breathe. Mm -hmm. Thinking through. Thinking yep. through. And yeah, we are going to be going back to Carrot oh Select. I'm expecting boy. the Brawler pick here, and I am correct. Here we go. 
Gave in. Gave in to temptation. Yep. It, it be <laughs> real shame. Real shame. He said, like, left the church, started fighting on the streets. Really, really, it's really unfortunate what happened to that man. It's really unfortunate. Stole. <laughs> he's, he's, he stole chains from our offense. Said, pray to God, pray to me. Like, oh, oh God, swear to me. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Shout out to Batman. Yeah, you know, uh, Christian Bale did an exceptional job. Yeah. Pretty good. Up until that last movie. Anyway, here we go. Action oh. Sand versus Pineapples. Here we go. Boom. Boom, boom. Yep. The application. Definitely going to be burning. Yeah. And this, honestly, the corner position has been Axe Chan's territory every single time. Curious to see how he will play Oki on this one because you now don't have to worry about shoulder charge. But DP is definitely one you want to worry about, obviously. Yes. Oh, Ooh. nice. Jump special. And this is a bit of a rarity. It, it's rare that you see another, an, an, another aggressive character like uh, like Brawler actually have right. like, have some buttons that can actually reach that range that Inquisitor wants to play in. But they do a pretty high whiff recovery, and Inquisitor is very good at whiff punishing in this version. So you got to be pretty careful how you Ooh. draw that two. Pew! Mm -hmm. Yes. Boom, boom, All right. boom, boom. Caught left right there. No guard button here from uh, Pineapples. And yep. we're going to burn the at the stake. We gotta purge you of your sins. Oh. You were a believer once. You were the yep. chosen one. Dang, they really wrapped him up in his own chains and burned him at the stake. That's crazy. We ran out of chains. They ran out of chains. It, 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 it's it, out. It, it, it's because Brawler stole him. <laughs> it, it all loops back around. The church had chains, and then suddenly Brawler pulls out of the church with chains. <laughs> it pulls out of the church. Hold on. Hmm, seems suspicious. <laughs> okay, here we go. Axe Chan right now looking pretty strong here. Pineapples maybe showing why this matchup wasn't. Really on, on, on the priority list. Oh, and tries to go for mm -hmm. the jump M. And I think this might lead to a kill if we get an... Uh, actually, no, no. The scaling, no, we, scaling yeah, on wheels way too much. Never scaling, mind. Okay, not enough mana to follow through. Oh, we got a wheel too. A lot of guard bar left and no mana for Axe Gen. So you just kind of have to hold this for a little bit. Yeah, I think we were just trying to hit for a uh, IS opportunity to see if Pineapples will be pressing. And at this life de uh, deficit, I don't blame you not pressing IS there. You still want to hold on to your scratch damage. Especially with the lead that you had in Guard Gauge, like you called out. Yep. Oh, here we go. Oh, Ooh. and yeah, the slight delay going to catch Pineapples trying to get out of the situation. Yeah, it's looking kind of tough for Brawler in that matchup. C couldn't really find like any kind of range to poke no. out. Yeah, couldn't find your footing with uh, Cru Crusader. No. Yeah, couldn't find your footing with Crusader. Couldn't find your footing with uh, with Brawler there. Um, and that seems like a real shame because I, I would have thought that Brawler would have had like at least some sort of assist, especially with Barrel Call, but uh, Inquisitor just so quick at closing that gap and applying that corner pressure, especially when it's backed up with damage over time off of Curse. Mm -hmm. But uh, speaking of Curses, let's not see one here anymore. Yeah. You know, this is going to be another good set coming up here. we yes. got GoldenEye coming back to the stage, hopefully with a little bit of a mental reset. Yeah, 100%. You know, you go get your water cool off. It's back to first to three again. Mm -hmm. You know, you haven't lost that opportunity. Yep. Already, still. already have a good set on Axe Chan in this tournament. Axe Chan was really struggling yeah. in that first set. So this is uh, this is pretty... This is basically all Golden Knife could ask for for losers' final. Yeah, yeah. And this top three, uh, I, honestly, if, if you if you were looking at this bracket and, 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 <laughs> and <laughs> if you were if you're looking at this bracket and were a betting man, this top three makes sense. Yeah, yeah, honestly. Uh, having Cow in the bracket definitely... Uh, mm -hmm. Expected a winner side run from Cal. I would have been shocked if it was on loser's side. Yeah. Um, and then you got Golden Eye here, obviously one of the yes. best Rangers to do it right now. Very consistent yes. placings. And Axe Chan on the same level. So seeing them here makes a lot of sense. And honestly, I, w I could not ask for a better top three. These players are going to go crazy. <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to lie. I know. Like, this, the story for this loser's finals is crazy enough as it is. Golden Eye came, came in so confident leading up to this winner's finals. Felt great, and then suddenly disaster struck. Now you have to go up against Inquisitor here, which may be just as brutal to deal with. Um, if Axe Chan can close the gap here. I mean, Inquisitor does have some better tools, but yes. yeah, Jump B definitely is going to help you there. Yeah, definitely going to just immediately go for that offense. So Golden Eye stuck in this corner again. Oh, and now we got the wheel. Yeah, yeah very well-timed guard cancel. Very good read. Going to keep this pressure up as well. And, oh, Axe, unfortunately, doesn't get the crumple hit. Yeah. Ooh, yeah, too far. Probably was expecting just that, right? The the Gunhawk was going to go for the spin opportunity. Trying to get a punish pretty high up. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Oh. Yeah, grenade follow. Big hit here for Golden Eye. Going to be getting a knockdown here. 
And and Goldeneye actually being a lot more conservative with the meter. We saw in previous sets that Goldeneye was actually just going for a lot of uh, get, uh, go, going for the acid rain there, right, trying to get right. get that hard knockdown. But uh, we're not seeing it as much this time. Probably trying to save the meter in the. Oh yeah, you can't avoid that. You can't avoid that. That's tough. Yeah, that was there was an attempt made, and unfortunately, no matter what you could do, you were gonna fall right back down on it. You need a little bit more in your jump bar to avoid. Yep. Okay, here we go. Yeah, big wow. combo here. This is doing so much damage, and we're even yeah. just going to send him into Awakening. We don't care. Look at all the reward we got here. That, Ooh, that was a up? huge match, max range confirmed for that route in the corner. Nice. Oh, yeah. Oh, we're grab, we're yeah. rolled up, too, which means this is the full combo. Going to scale a little bit because of the DP starter, but it still might be enough to kill with all the fire. Oh, my gosh. Boom. Yeah, it means one more. No way. Mm-hmm. That OTG right. dive kick. Just to, yeah. Yeah, just to finish it off. I'm telling you, man, this character's combos are insane. Yeah. The damage is off the charts. Especially when backed with the uh, the damage over time. Like, that almost killed uh, Ranger alone. Yes. Okay. Damage starting to add up here for Axe Gen. Goldeneye in a, in a bit of a predicament now. Yeah. Needs to find a way out of this corner without losing too much life. All right. Send the spin. Nice. Got the guard cancel. So we are out of there. Yeah, that corner is definitely uh, getting a little toasty for Goldeneye right now. Oh, uh, but the dive, dive bump. Yeah. Oh, but not going not gonna to be able to get a combo off of it. And Goldeneye going to convert into the Awakening. Going to be getting a hard knockdown here. But it da up but it da up What do we got? Yeah, just grenade. Keep you in the corner there. Nice rollback, but uh, yeah, Axe not opening up while landing. It's all right, though. Got another pick up to Goldeneye. With the grenade. Ooh, great okay. tech. Back dash too. Yeah, no, that was a really good tech from Action. That would have absolutely been game number one if that throw connected, but fortunately. Oh! oh! And conditioning for the roll there, the Gunhawk cancel. Good stuff. That is two times now that uh, Axe Chan tried to roll through or just avoid by maneuvering uh, a special from Goldeneye and now getting punished for it. One, it was the aerial spin. Did not have enough jump arc and the roll just a bit too early to sit right on top of Gunhawk. Mm hmm. Oh, okay. Damage. Adding up once again. We got the wheel. Oh, we're gonna try to back off. Actually got the hit. Goldeneye maybe trying to press something like one hit too early. Mm -hmm. And are we, it's gonna be enough to kill. With oiled up DP yeah, and DP. Oh! oh! <laughs> seven golden letters plus two. Axe Chan not going down without a fight this okay, time. Okay, okay. Alright, now just some, some clean neutral here from Goldeneye. Yeah. Oh, nice roll through. And able to get the anti-air pick up with the spin. Yeah. That's that down. Helicopter, helicopter. Oh, and the damage adding up once again. Mm -hmm. Alright, another jump B and you know, again, Goldeneye just sitting patiently looking for the turn. The 2A opens. You know, Axe gonna get called out low with that small delay that we had in that corner pressure. And now we got grenades set up again to try to Make a mistake. Like, look, all that Goldeneye did was sit there in front of Grenade and waited for Axe Chan to overcommit to the string. Mm -hmm. Or even try to sneak in a throw, and I guarantee that's what they were looking for. Ooh, nice. IS able to get DP out. Yeah, big damage right there. Oh, and trying to get the spin in. The conversion was available, too, to keep the pressure up afterwards. And there it is. Oh, we got, yeah, we got the fire. Though. Yeah, because one touch is all that both players need. Oh, yeah, this is tough for Axe Chan. Actually, it is completely exhausted at this point. Even with the conversion, nice. they're not enough to get it, but sneaks in. It's just right into the super. Yeah, I agree. Get the kill. Yeah. Dash up 2A does finish the D. Yep. Going for those tournament combos, as it were. Big damage and good stuff. Axe going to close that one out. 1-1 one, one in the set. Yeah. Still has a little bit of ways to go before we can try to return to a grand finals uh, position. Mm-hmm. Yeah, both of them really want it though, and both of them are playing like it too. Actually, playing a lot better than in in, their, uh, in this first set with Goldeneye. Right. Goldeneye trying try, trying to make up for that loss in Winners Finals and wants that run nice. back with Cow. I would I would imagine after that set, I would I would be I would be fuming. <laughs> <laughs> I need the run back, and I won't make those mistakes. Conversion low, so Gunhawk will still connect. Okay. Pushed uh, Axe Chan into Awakening, though. With Grenade to back you up, that's a nice uh, interaction that worked out in Goldeneye's favor there. Not uh, yep. to get too out of control. Yeah. But you're still reeling back. And nice, got her guard canceled, so no wheel defense. Boom. Finish. Yep, and there's that 5MS. The blah, 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 to finish it off. Goldeneye up around here. 
wants this 2-1 lead, wants to close yeah. the set out as soon as possible because we got to save all that energy for Cal, right? Yeah. Oh, Five A's. the dash cancel yeah. was so clean. What a good conversion from Golden Eye. Boom. Another grenade in the corner. And yeah, I mean, Axe Chan taking a step forward so they can be ready to try to challenge Golden Eye after the grenade explodes. Yep. But uh, still Golden Eye not giving those chances. Mid range is uh, where Axe Chan wants to hold up. Oh, and the DP out. Good situation here for Golden Eye. Going to get this box unstarted and all of this guard damage. Ooh. There's a lot of mana available too, so if you just make Axe Chan block one more time, it'll probably be a guard break. Oh, but we're going to sneak in with the spin. Okay. Tall order. You do have 200 mana. Oh, wait. You are in Awakening. Um, um, with Awakening, this yeah. is going to be pretty close to killing, I think, actually. Oh. oh G. Oh. Another. Oh, my God. You're, you're dead. Done. You're dead. It's over. That is the round. That is a, that <laughs> is the round. It's over. You're dead. It's I. It's pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty, that's pretty that's when a good you combo. you know Inquisitor gets that hit, it's like, oh, boy. Mm -hmm. Especially... At full mana capacity, there is no stopping that TOD hat. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm liking the spin cycle again. Okay. Boom. Okay. I'm liking the DPI from Golden Knight. It's not trying to respect that pressure anymore. Trying to play a little bit more on the offensive yep. so we don't get put into a situation where Axe Chan will have Awakening. Ooh. Yeah. What a That's snipe. a tough angle to try to get that dive in. Mm hmm. Good slide, bring it back down. Grenade to get the pickup further into the corner with another Oki set up on Grenade. Mm. But, already got to jump out. Jump out was a fine decision from Ox Chan, so then we don't have to hold Oki necessarily. Um, it would reset the Grenade anyway. Mm -hmm. Golden Eye up 2-1 right now. Yep. Golden Eye playing pretty good in the set here, but it is so close. They are literally neck and neck. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Ox Chan could have very easily won that round with like one one simple change, but we're going to see if Golden Eye can keep it together. Mm -hmm. Action. Going for a couple more jumps here. Getting a little bit antsy on the rolls. Got to be a little bit more patient. Right. Ooh. Ooh. What a trade. Oh. oh, okay. Got our stagger. Yeah, may maybe maybe expecting a slide there. Yeah. Okay. We're in Awakening for Axe Chan now, though. Which means you are in danger <laughs> if you are a Golden Eye. But it's going to get the 5B anyway. Yeah. Covering these rolls so well. Axe Chan is just getting impatient right now. Yeah, I think that's a bit of that, right? Because we did have almost full mana set up after uh, being put into Awakening, but we spent, especially after spending conversion there. And see on the roll again, yeah. but no combo from Golden Eye. Not going to finish it. All right, a couple of back dashes. Okay, here we go. Spin in, convert. Oh, no DP allowed, and this is already going to do so much damage. It's yeah. going to scale for the rest of the combo, but a 40% combo yeah. with the flame? Not, not, not too bad, not too shabby. This is a good know. situation. In? In their face? Yeah, pr probably probably trying to pr probably trying to low crush there. Yeah, over yeah, over yeah. The 2A, low but crush, catch up the uh, grab attempt maybe. Yeah, but 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 without the conversion there, it's definitely very dangerous. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh no, the last hit that is so, so tragic for close. Action. That was so, that was that was honestly like a genius response. Yeah. It was just not quite there. Oh, there we go. There we go. Mm. DP as Golden Eye dashes up into Action's face. This should be around, and it yes. sure is. Yes, end it simply. Do not, do not risk dropping the combo. Another round for action, and we go to a game number five. Always a close set between these two, but it doesn't really get closer than a zero. I must say, I'm not going to put that energy out there, but I'm very nervous about the outcome of this. Oh, <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I'm a little bit too. I'm a little bit too. I didn't want to say anything either because I didn't want to jinx it. But we'll you know, see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see what happens. We'll just leave it at that. I'm nervous about the outcome. We will, we will definitely see what happens. Oh, Ooh. okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah, Interesting, because I feel like we could have got 2A after that roll. Yeah. Because this was very close. Yeah. But oh. it might have put back the hurt box into the uh, the low there. Oh, okay. Un unable to get the dash follow-up there to the combo. But it's going to get out of the corner. Golden Eye, just shooting the gun. Just keep keeping it safe. Oh, back roll. Okay, yeah, yeah. That was a little antsy. Yeah. Just wants to build the meter. Uh, We're trying, though. Really? I mean, Gunhawk is such a, you know, this leading hurt box where it sits at. Oh, clean jump in. Yeah. We are exhausted, though. We're going to have to convert to get this mana. We are now in Awakening, too, which means you are in danger Ooh, if you're a Golden Eye. A minute. Yeah, because we're trying to build out. You see this guard gauge. You had to do the guard cancel because yeah. you were going to get guard broken. That oh, big the 2A, the poke. Oh. I, 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 don't, I don't think this is going to be enough to kill. The starter's no. not good no. enough. Yeah, starter's 2A not good enough. start. The flame is going to be doing so much damage, though. Yeah. Plus, oh. we didn't even have uh, 100 mana there either, so we have to go for one more reset on combo. 
Yeah, you gotta watch out. Oh, it actually got the confirm. Oh, with the back throw! Insane! What a back throw! The timing from GoldenEye! The timing from GoldenEye! <laughs> <laughs> I would be smiling like that. Remember the last time? Oh my god, not the smile. Oh, smile and wave, boys. <laughs> that that was next level. Yeah. You thinking? Yo. Yep. That that last hit of 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 the wheels box stun is actually very low. So going for throw there, honestly, not that unadvisable. E as crazy as it looked, as crazy as it looked. But oh my God, Golden Eye clutching <laughs> that set. That that could have turned around at any moment. Axe Chan yeah, was yeah, really yeah, making yeah. it happen. But uh, third place, what a great finish from Axe Chan. Absolutely. I was certainly nervous. So now that it's over, I was certainly nervous we we're gonna have a repeat of winners finals happen right before our eyes with the way that Axe Chan was closing those gaps and being able to. Open up Goldeneye. But we got our run back here regardless. And probably going right into the mirror. Yeah. Like I have to assume that. Right back into the mirror because, I mean, I, I, I'm sure that Cow is an amazing battle mage, but that did not look like an amazing matchup. I'm going to be honest. So I'm pretty sure we are just going to be getting the mirror once again. And now Pocket Berserker. So here we go. <laughs> Woo! Well, everyone that's tuned in, thank you so very much. We greatly appreciate it. We have reached our grand finals. Mm -hmm. A DNF duel here oh, at Frosty yeah. Boston 16. Yeah, thank you guys all for joining us. I, I have. It's been quite a pleasure to commentate this top eight. A lot of great yeah. players, a lot of great sets, a lot of really funny moments, honestly. <laughs> yes, <laughs> but, yes. But, but all in all, nothing but a good time. And if you guys have been here watching the whole time, Please tell me you've been having a good time, too. Uh, sound off in the chat. Push your ones. I already know. R Ranger Oki. Ranger Oki? <laughs> oh, oh, I see. <laughs> okay. That's a stick figure ranger. That is a stick figure ranger with a gun. He's got a whole gun right there. Man. He's got a gun. He's got a gun. Yeah, we've made it. We made it. This is the pure DNF meta right now. Yup. I that. like that phone style. I've seen a couple folks with that phone that Goldeneye has. It reminds me of Game Boy Advance SP, yeah, I think. I, I, cool. uh, dude, I like that. The, the folding. Right, oh, my God. I, I need that. If it's hate him. <laughs> <laughs> they hate him. Just it, it was Gunhawks gun, gun, gun <laughs> hog, gun times three. Oh, that no. is incredible. We're just having fun on the stage uh, right now. No kidding. <laughs> yeah, I mean, gee whiz. Yeah, and, no. and color coordinated really well. I mean, look at this cow with the, the camouflage controller wearing the full green, and then uh, Goldeneye is all red with the red phone. I yep. love it, love it. But yeah, here we go. We are going to be going for the mirror. Yes. He might not like the mirror, but it's what might get him the W, so let's see what cow's got. Going up against Goldeneye, two of the best Rangers to ever touch this game in Grand Finals. Here we go, Grand Finals. Finals. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. Get hype in the chat. Get hype in the crowd. You know what time it is. We're going to be shooting guns for either the next 10 or the next 30 minutes. Let's get 10 it. 10 or 30 minutes. 30 minutes? No, in, no in between, bro. No in between. We're going to be here watching people blasting each other for 30 minutes? Hey, man, they, they started blasting. We couldn't stop them. And that's true. I would want to stop them. <laughs> okay, here we go. Some pressure from Cal. Nice roll. Yeah, that was a very well timed roll. No punish from Goldeneye though. Cal does a very good job of like uh, putting you in unfamiliar situations, right? Like yeah. you, don't, you don't see a lot of these Rangers go for these stagger pressure. So in some of these situations where you get the correct the correct read, you might yeah. not know how to punish. Yeah. It, ooh, oh. <laughs> okay. You know, that would have been so tricky. That would have been insane if the slide came, but unfortunately for Cal, not going to work. Yeah. I mean, like, what a. S you baited Cow with the fake slide and then go right to conversion so you can try to bait him out again. Okay. Yo. <laughs> All right. Yeah, yo, we are just flying in the air right now. Yeah. Oh, and, and, we, oh and, we, and we got the curse on deck. This could really hurt if you get hit if you're golden eye here. Ooh, could roll the, the two. Yo, both of them are playing several levels of mind games, anticipating the opponent's movements well before they even happen. Like, one. Goldeneye baiting out the Scud Genocide low uh, right with the uh, uh, conversion. We've also saw the uh, four dash and then back roll when we had a grenade set up. Goldeneye won that one again. And now Cow, knowing the roll through is going to happen with a 2A on the auto turn around. So good stuff here from Cow to close out the first round. Mm, double grand gun finals. combo here too. Yeah. Into the grenade routing. Oh, we're going to actually drop the combo back throw. This could be an incident here for Goldeneye here. Oh, and base the DP. Yeah. Oh, drop. Ooh, but at least we still have the gun hog. Oh, but a roll into throw. All right, survive the grenade toss. Mm, and a, a pure, yeah. a pure baited guard cancel. We haven't really seen one of those all night. People have been mixing up the guard cancels really well, but Cal yeah. on the money. 
the first guard cancel block that we've seen all top eight. All right. Very clean. Ooh, good call out. Nice roll. Doesn't have to worry about grenade quite yet. There it is. Honestly, I, I honestly I respect Cow's decision there to make it yeah. worth the trade. Yeah. You also kept Ooh. that full screen presence. You earned the corner here on top of it. This is devastating. My God. Yeah, this is really bad for Golden Eye right now, and we're going to be taking another hard knockdown. No score, oh. genocide, but we're going to get the shimmy, immy, dimmy, wimmy. Oh my. This is so insane from Cow right now. Yeah, Cow is yeah. playing off of his gourd. Off of his udder? Yeah. Yeah, that's what it <laughs> It was utterly ridiculous for no. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, production, for that one. Oh, my God. Oh, trying to go oh. for an air to air? Question mark? Okay. Oh, but we're just going to get the 2A. They're not respecting the plus mm. frames. Golden Eye going for something a little slower than 2A. Oh! We got grenade on top of it. Just keep it locked down in the corner. Another gun honk locked in. Yeah, I mean you can IS, but you're trying to save yourself on this guard cancel. Okay, okay there we go. And Golden Eye, an opportunity here, but what a roll! And you get tagged by the scout genocide. Yeah, nice another throw. throw. Nice throw. Boom. Now we're zoning. Oh, oh try to get the two A back to back. You can try to go for IS again and again, but you Boom. open up at the last second. Cow, gonna close this one out. And Cal, one game away now from winning DNF duel at Frosty yeah. Fousing 16. You what? thought you could drop a combo in front of me? I took that personally. Yeah. Yeah. And it, it's not looking good for GoldenEye right now. GoldenEye needs to make a big adjustment very quickly. Oh, my God. The round star 2 way trade. Oh, we're trying to fly in. And the grenade right, covering well, the minus eight. Very good stuff. Yep, still had the two-way opportunity there. Nice cross under there to make sure we could carry to the corner. Very smart move from GoldenEye. Oh, Try to get a shimmy wimmy. Not going to work out here. Yeah, really wanted to bait that DP there. Not quite going to work out, though. We are just throwing nades. We're throwing bullets. Oh, Scott Genocide. We're going to stall in the air as long as we can. Go for that jump B. Maintain safety. Back roll again. Now, Golden Eye seems to be a bit of a back roll in Jory, but I think that's actually kind of working to, to Cow's advantage. We were talking about how aggressive Cow has been being. Yeah. So, so, so giving up that space just leads Cow into that offensive situation that he's very clearly just so comfortable in. I mean, yeah, we are chipping away. Oh, oh the guard break. Look at the health. You're oh done. Oh, my God. It is actually just over. Oh, and we got the classic loops, too. Ba, 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 ba. Ba, 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 ba. Boom. Oh, my God. One oh, HP. Not quite. Not quite. All right. Jeez. Mm. Oh. And an immediate call out on the slide. Golden Eye has been kind of autopiling that against most of his opponents tonight, but Cow is just ready. I guess, yeah, because we didn't have the mana for IS, did we? No. Yeah, so that's why we did. We let the scratch damage just linger there. Yep. Okay. Boom. All right, here we go. Good situation for Golden Eye here. Going to yeah. optimize fully. Oh, and back rolls away from the DP. Full combo coming in. Boom. Oh, we're just going to get a little loop here. Very simple combo. And oh, no, a little bit early. You can't be dropping like this. Not like this. Did you not learn your lesson? Did you not learn your lesson, Golden Eye? Oh, my God, what a right. nice little jump in confirmed there from Cal. Right, who's now going to set up the guard, the classic guard break setup. Where there is not enough to guard scratch. cancel here. Yeah. It oh, is. The guard break, it's over. It's over. Into awakening is all mm. that we need, and we don't even have to do it. Cal, 3-0 victory over Golden Eye. We tried to defend as best as we could. That IS could only linger for so long, and yeah. the guard break was already mounting. Good games here. Cal brought it home. Yep. Congratulations to Cal. A dominating 3-0 in grand finals yes. over GoldenEye. And, and, and a very nice winner's semis and an incredibly clutch set in winner's finals. What yes. a performance in top eight today. What an amazing player and really showing his stuff. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Cal has consistently been one of the best DNF dual players out here in North America uh, and has been you know, taking many championships between uh, TNS and can opener uh, in online environments. So it's good to see Cal, you know, making that same effort here offline and still showing up and showing out. Wow. I mean, what a yeah. top eight. A very yeah. interesting one because we had, you know, our double rangers. We still got the battle mage uh, mm -hmm. representation yes. and crusader. Yes. Um, even uh, brawler. We got to show brawler. this one here. Oh, yeah. We got to show Ooh. this one. Oh, we got the spiel. Oh, that's the goat. That is oh adorable. my God, we love this shield. We love this shield, bro. <laughs> and you'll be, uh, yeah, yeah, you'll be getting this trophy any minute now, bro. Yeah, Do any it. minute you get this glorious, mm. glorious trophy Look here for for taking it. It's beautiful. I mean, yeah, it is wonderful here. There are 
Frosty Frosting 16 DNF Duel Champion Cow. Yep. Wow. Yeah. Thank you guys all for watching. This has been DNF Top 8. It has been quite a ride. Amazing matches, amazing players. Yes. And there's just more to come from Frosty Faustings, man, from this yeah. stream and every single other stream that we have going on here. So if you guys are tuning in at home, make sure to check out all the streams, all the games, all the players. And yeah, yeah. that's pretty much going to wrap us up, I, I think. I believe, yeah, because I think we're going to be handing out uh, awards mm -hmm. right here yep. um, in just a moment. But yeah, there's still plenty more to go. Uh, FrostyFaustings.com for the full schedule of all the brackets that are going on. DNF Duel is still uh, going on strong. There's still support from the players and the community that are just enjoying the game. So definitely check that out. Be sure to uh, check out the Steam sales on it too because it's, it's coming down to like 50% off yeah. like quite often. Mm -hmm. It was uh, free on Epic Games for a day if you yeah, thought that. Yeah, free on Epic yep. Games for mm -hmm. a day. Mm -hmm. um, outside of the Season Pass is like the yeah. only other thing that you got to yeah, pick yeah, up, yeah, right? Yeah, Which yeah. will yeah. feature Spectre, Brawler, of course, Battle Mage. Very cool characters. And uh, one or two more after that. I think it's just... I, I want to say it's two. two. Yeah, I want to say it's two. I want to say it was five characters. Yeah, because Guilty Gear is four. Yes. And this one has five. Yeah, so, five yeah, yeah. yeah, for sure. Cool. Um, all right, so... Musty, uh, it's been a real pleasure hanging it, out with you. It I'm definitely has been. Killing it out here. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm very glad we got to commentate together. Yeah, it, it, yeah. It's been, uh, the last time we commentated, you were still wearing the glasses, bro. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. I was going to say, like, the last time before we got to see it was, like, CEO, right? So it had to have been, no. No, it was it two was Frosties ago. Two Frosties? Two Frosties ago. Dragon Ball right, Top 24, Ball yep. Top. Mm -hmm. Golly. Shout out, shout out Android 17 needs a nerf, bro. <laughs> the classic. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Oh wow! But yeah, yeah, good times, good times. Absolutely. So mm -hmm. uh, I think that'll about do here for us. Are we are we good over here, production, we, we or are we going to award ceremony? All right, for sure, for sure. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. So we're we're waiting on the go ahead here. So mm -hmm. uh, while we're waiting on that go ahead, um, oh, we're speaking for it. Okay. Cool. 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 Oh, cool. All right, so let's get on to it here with this top eight yeah, round let's, out. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Like our, yeah, um, we'll, be getting, we'll be getting on there at any moment, y'all. We will be uh, we'll be gassing them up. You already yes. know we got the medals. Uh, I, they might be. I, I really hope they're not looking for the trophy. Because yeah, that it, would be that would be a little awkward. Be the it, trophy's gone. It ceases to it's exist. It's gone. It's mine now. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Um, but yeah, you know, there's still a plenty to check out here. The ballrooms got so much bigger than what they were last year. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I, I mean, yeah, I think they unlocked a couple more of them this year. <laughs> yeah, unlocked. Whoa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But diddly, diddly, burp, 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 burp. yeah, this is a uh, lilac ballroom. <laughs> I love the level ups that we get here. <laughs> yeah, dude. But yeah, I like mean, it. uh, it, it's still such a great event to check out every year. Of course, it being the Arc World Tour stop for uh, Guilty Gear Strive and Grand Blue Fantasy versus mm -hmm. Rising. Those are going to be going on. Tomorrow night, uh, Guilty Gear Strive will be closing out the entire event. Yes, uh, of course. So definitely tune in for that. And on Sunday will be Tekken uh, mm -hmm. 8. Oh, We're yeah, the entire, the entire Tekken 8 bracket being Tekken on Sunday 8, yeah. is going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be very fun to watch. Yeah, this year has been interesting because Thursday was kind of like our pseudo day one. You came in at noon. You could get your badge, mm -hmm. hang out, uh, check out the venue. And even, like, the halls are open to play. Yeah. So you can still play games mm -hmm. on Thursday. And Sunday is that open arcade, uh, the after party that they have, if you will. Yep. Uh, which was included with registration this year. Um, at least it was for me mm -hmm. when I checked. So um, yeah. I think that option was available for everybody. Like, yeah. But, yeah, it, it was still a great time. Um, still is a great time. we got a couple more days to go out here. So definitely super chill event. Um, it, it just gets better and better every year, as mm -hmm. an event should. Absolutely. Um, yeah, it's still one of my favorite stops of all because it's Guilty Gear. It's the yeah. home of Guilty Gear. It's it, in the it, name. So. It's, it's literally the home of Guilty Gear. This yeah. is the Guilty Gear tournament. <laughs> <laughs> Biggest tournament here yes. too, man. It's and, and the competition is quite fierce. Yes, absolutely. Especially, uh, gosh, this being the final stop for those qualifiers, I think people are going to be very hungry for it. We even have uh, folks that are practicing out for Street Fighter Six because the uh, qualifiers are done for that outside of the LCQ before mm -hmm. Capcom Pro Tour. Yeah, so everyone's getting here, get their, yes. la get their last minute grinds in, the last minute matches, yeah. trying to get ready yeah. for that. That tournament's going to be crazy. It's being run over three days. Oh, God, I'm excited. I, I can't wait to watch every second of that. Yes. It's going to be It's gonna be fun. It's going to be yeah. fun for sure. Yeah, and uh, gosh, even for Grand Blue, it'll be fascinating to see how that breaks down because we've already had the side games qualifier. We've already had the Kayane Cup qualifier. Very jealous of Kayane uh, <laughs> because they had uh, Fukuhara show up to that event. So that was cool. Oh, that dude. was super fun. That's so cool. Um, 
just hoping Nicholas shows up to one of these Grand Blue events. You know, have you yep. heard of Nicholas? I I'm cannot say I'm familiar. It's a great. Uh, it, it's unfortunate that Nicholas is not in the game right now because it, it is honestly an integral part of Grand Blue Fantasy versus Rising. If, mm. uh, if Nicholas shows up, please, uh, <laughs> please, <laughs> please, this character. Please, please, please. Uh, but yeah, you know the future of DNF Duel. I'm curious to see who they add uh, next. I was kind of hoping. Um, I thought it was a slam dunk that around Halloween time we would get Witch. Mm. We did not. We did not, uh, unfortunately. Which, you know, hey, either way, like all the characters they put in this game are really cool. Yeah. Uh, because they're so very true to uh, the, the source material, right, of DFO. Mm -hmm. um, and just to see the sprites come to life in this game is insane. So well done to the team that has been making this game. Uh, also, everyone supporting it, thank you so very much. Are, they, are, are we hurting people? What are we doing? Yeah, I, a couple of them are wearing their medals already. Did uh, oh, are, are, are getting photos first. done first? Okay. Okay. Yeah, we're going to be giving up the trophy and now. All right. Yep. So we'll be getting this situated as soon as possible. Ooh, yeah, because this room is the, uh, of course, the Vampire Arcadia room. Uh, the Lilac uh, Ballroom. The Lilac, Lilac Ballroom. Yes. So yeah, you you will have sat through here. Mm -hmm. They have a lot of the. Uh, uh, yeah, a lot of the classic games over there too. Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm just I'm just gonna go on a limb and say Third Strike's probably gonna be in here if we got an arcade cast. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. Uh, what's next on the stream? Blaze oh, top forty eight. Top forty eight. Okay. okay. Cool. Gotcha. Word up, man. Oh, there we go. Zoned out. Me oh. too. <laughs> He's owned out. Look, yeah. look at my man with the trophy. He is smiling. The top three picks are going to go absolutely hard. Yes. The top three that we that honestly anyone looking at this bracket expected, but was so entertained by. Yeah. Cal for first place, six zero without a single game loss uh, throughout the bracket. Golden Eye in second. Axe Chan in third. Mm -hmm. In our fourth place, going to Pineapples, fifth to Davids. Uh, I guess from Germany. Yes. So wow. Yeah. Uh, Juicy Yoshi in fifth as well. Uh, tie for seventh was Lufel and uh, Bacon, Bacon Housen. Yes. Great stuff to all of our competitors. Thank you all so much for coming out. Yeah. Every single DNF player that came out to support this game, we really appreciate you. Yes. But that's going to be it for us, guys. We are going to be transitioning over to Blaze Blue Central Fiction Top 48 up next right here on Vampire Arcadia. So make sure you guys stick around, and we will catch you next time. Yes. Later days, everybody. Controller Chaos, the premier online retailer featuring hand-painted first-party controllers. Save 10% of your online order with coupon code FROSTY. Don't see a design you like? Create your own and get it on a fight stick or a controller.
Overdrive Arcade. Out-of-the-box compatibility across PC, Xbox, and PS5. Premium leverless without the premium price. Visit OverdriveArcade.com to shop now, and don't forget to use coupon code FROSTY24. The lazy nerds are large and in charge in the Grand Ballroom lobby area. Go check out their booth for uniquely designed shirts, hats, hoodies, and shorts. Scan the QR code to buy their beautiful garments online. Hitbox. Combo extensions are a brand new style of arcade button designed to buff your controller by adding more buttons to your layout. To keep up with the meta, rather than feeling forced to drill holes or get a new controller altogether, combo extensions empower you to upgrade your current arcade controller with extended 2-in-1 arcade buttons. It may be chilly outside, but Paradise Arcade Shop is bringing the heat. Look for us on the floor at Frosty Faustings to secure yourself one of our limited edition M-Press or M-Press Nano controllers. Looking to upgrade your fusion board? We'll even provide a free install on site. S-Tier Rugs is a luxury lifestyle brand for the FGC and gamers everywhere. Providing soft, high-quality knitwear, handmade rugs, woven tapestry blankets, and so much more for all your favorite titles. These luxury items are made to order and are an incredible surprise for that special gamer in your life. Check out Data FGC's very own Atlanta Regional Tournament, Max Mode, back for 2024 on March 22nd through 24th. Visit startgg slash maxmode to register for your favorite games. Magical Defense Force is a unique, story-focused, magical girl visual novel featuring a cast of strange and entertaining characters, Monster of the Week action, comedy, a rocking soundtrack, and artistically rendered fight scenes. Available now on Steam, pick it up in early access.